Well, good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Lock up your daughters. This promises to be a fantastic doubles match between Mitchell King, England International. You've got Hayden Rocket Pinney. Um, and then from the Spenny's uh, outfit, you've got Max Arabian Nosco and uh, Josh Korkat. Here we go. I'll be joined in the commentary very shortly by um, none other than the mouth, Pepsi. So it looks like uh, the team of Mike King and Hayden Penny are about to break off the first frame. This is the best of 35 frames, black ball rules, promises to be a brilliant match. Now, obviously, um, Max has already played on this table uh, earlier on today. So he he will be uh, used to the conditions, used to the speed of the cloth, which uh, could be an advantage for his team. And I'm just about to be joined by none other than the one and only Pepsi, eight times around the world, the Fizz. Here he is. Well, first of all, it was seven times played live around the world, but I'll take eight. First of all, Greg, thank you very, very much to Beard Productions, All Stars, and Mike King and yourself. <laughs> it's been a great, great honor to be here today. It's been a fantastic day. And to see you win today is the highlight of my um, day. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you, mate. And it's uh, great to have you here, as always. You always bring a certain amount of uh, entertainment to any event. And uh, everyone, all your fans around the world, uh, love you for it. Thank you very, very much. So what, what's, your, what's your opinion on this match? I mean, who do you favour? I know you know Hayden Penny really well. You know Mike well. You know Max. Who, who do you, you favour for this one? There's only one. What was that? Well, he, he's actually played a good shot there. He snookered them on their reds. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to the question and answer. And the answer is... Aiden and Mike King to win. Okay. Only time will tell. What are the rules then on this? Are you allowed to talk on every shot or is it just... I'll get that information at some point. But um, I think presumably, normally, Scotch, Scotch pairs rules is... The first shot you're allowed to speak, and then after that you have to sort of. Do you have to go it alone almost? I would. Have, I think they discussed it just now, um, what they're going to do, mm. and I think they agreed that they might have a discussion or a timeout. I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, okay. But one thing is for sure, I'm surprised he played safe there. I would have thought he would have gone for it. Well, of course he was snookered Pepsi, so he. Oh, <laughs> he I had to just try and Hit his red. <laughs> I 
apologise. <laughs> no, I didn't mean uh, that shot. I meant my mic was at the table with the yellows. Yeah. I apologise. Uh, Pepsi uh, will be turning up shortly, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. Thank you, man. What a shot from Aiden. Now, Aiden, ladies and gentlemen, is my apprentice. Yeah, he, by all accounts, you dedicated a couple of years to him, didn't you, when he was younger? And, yeah, and actually, definitely. Yeah. yeah, when I was back in the Got UK. him through the ranks, and he's now a formidable formidable player in the South West, And that he? is true, ladies and gentlemen. And, and I helped um, another player, McHill, many, many years ago when he was a youngster. We won the national doubles together. And I'm helping a young boy. Um, he's uh, 11 now in American nine ball. He's become a national uh, Philippine hero. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. And your name has been mentioned in the Middle East, um, Greg, out in the Qatar Federation. Oh, wow. Who Who is that by? Uh, um, Mike Russell. Oh, Mike Russell. Yeah, I know him very well. Nice chap. I was there, um, cut, well, a few years ago now when uh, myself and Michael Wosley went over there to help the Qatar team. And I made some, met some really nice people, made some good friends, Bashar. <gasps> and yeah, all of those guys, I hope they're all well. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Bashar is my um, apprentice. He's uh, 17. He's become a 17 times gold medalist in eight ball snooker and nine ball. He's my ultimate training partner in Chinese eight ball, and Bashar is the ultimate all rounder in game. And uh, I've helped um, star with Walid as well, superstar. So yeah, it, it's been fantastic out there for me. Good life. Mm. Playing nine ball, but it was nice to hear that your name was mentioned out there. Yeah, that's really nice, and uh, I hope Mike's doing well, and I hope he's uh, he's okay. Good. So it looks like um, Max and Josh have got the upper hand in this frame. They're obviously red, so they've got Mike and Hayden snookered. So Mike needs to mind his work now. So um, Aiden did a great shot, and then put the ball safe. Mike did. That's what. That's where they are. Who's your prediction? That's a great shot. Well, I said earlier, I said the fact that Max has had uh, quite a lot of table time already today. He knows the table, he knows the speed. That might be, that might be a, a slight factor, but, um, you know, it, it's all in the night, isn't it, really? So they are conferring on each shot. Yeah. Max is the ultimate player, ladies and gentlemen, as I introduced him out. He is the best money player in the Southwest without a shadow of a doubt. And... Um, he did meet his match today, Greg Batten, and if you really look at it, he took six frames on the bounce, and I spoke to Greg, and then Greg was in a trance, and he can't recall it, but you want to look on the playback, you played supreme. Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, it was nice to play well today. There you can see Dean Lapham, um, who quite honestly needs what needs to get on the sunbeds, pretty sharpish, but uh, <laughs> he's in the background, and he's he's doing really well in his uh, in his money match. I think he's five or six one up, by all accounts, but... Uh, <laughs> God, you're funny. Um, no, he's only Joe. He's only banter. He's a nice bloke, but um, seriously, I mean, with legs as white as that, who wears shorts? You know? <laughs> no comment. I'm out in the temperature every day, so 37 plus. So I go to the gym every day. We have a private swimming pool as well. A new compound we have. So I'm one of the luckiest pool players in the world. Yeah. Um, well, you're getting to do what you love every day. Don't every you? day. I'm, I'm honest to God, um, to all the fans around the world, if, if you know me, you, you would understand that i got my own pool, a um, nine-ball table. I've got plenty of room around the table. got a beautiful uh, partner. She's the best in the world. and uh, I've got everything, ladies and gentlemen, to the fans and the tenants and the fans around the world. I'm one of the luckiest pool players in the world. Yeah. And does she provide all sorts of services, you know, dinner making and things like that? I'm made. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> No, it's a, no, I'm the housemate. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, I do the cooking and the washing and the ironing and all that. So, And she goes to work, I'm afraid. And she is the, the world's leading water engineer. And she's the number one engineer in the world. And the first woman in the world to run 12 construction sites in the Middle East. Never heard of. They don't allow women to do it. But because she's the world's leading water engineer, she's the best in the world. And I'll tell you what, where's the white? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Because if the white dropped, he was safe? No, no. Um, oh, that's an American eight ball. I'm just going to get a set of rules for Pepsi. Um, <laughs> now, this is obviously okay. black ball rules, so yeah, he, he would have lost the frame had he gone in off. Oh, but, um, if he puts the ball, he would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I so apologise, guys. That's right. no, I, don't, no I don't play black. No, this well, you're doing so much, mate. You know, it's understandable that you get confused. But um, that's 1-0 <laughs> to Nosco and Corkett, and... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> just for the people at home looking around the room, uh, there's some other matches going on. Nicholas Chalked has just finished his match against the Law, Phil Law. I'm not sure who won. Um, hopefully, Phil Law. Um, and let's have a quick look around. There's some other matches going on as well. So. Do you know what I like about you, Craig? You, you say how you see it. I love that. And you've done well on the IPA tour as well. Yes, uh, really enjoying that tour at the moment. I travel up with um, a couple of the Plymouth lads, um, Jez Graham and Darren McVicker. We the, the, always always have a good laugh. So. The lads, they're the world's runner-ups in the yeah. world doubles. Didn't they do well? God, incredible. They went 3-0 up against... In, uh, um, um, Jordan Church and Insan. Uh, um, sorry, guys. What a shot. Somebody's just waving at me. Um, Clinton Einstein, he was fantastic. And uh, we, we, we've had a great day. And he's playing Chinese April now. Well, who's that? The girls are looking in. Oh, that's that's is that your part? No, no. <laughs> who's that? No, that's uh, Ryan Lambert's mum, the chap behind, who's ah, um, right. doing some commentary in the background. So. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I thought yeah. they were waving us for getting the autographs. It's okay. I'm not camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the game. So, this is massive. Who's at the table? Aiden. The Rocket. And they're on reds. What I like about Aiden, and, and, and over the years of practice with him, he's matured. Look at that. What a shot. It's okay. Mike will try and pull that out and do something. But he's matured as a good player. Mm. He's took it. We went to. Um, to watch him play Josh and that was a great game Josh played well but look at these guys there's £5,000 in the pot for the winner take care yeah take care and you've done really well um, oh he tried to hook that <laughs> yeah. this is bad this is bad he's hooked it in behind the ball yeah this okay. is problem problems for and the pairing of Mike and uh, Hayden at the could, moment. Could go 2 0 down. Yeah. Early doors, though, Pepsi, early doors, plenty of time. How did you feel out there, Greg, when you, when you were winning? How did you feel? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a nice feeling, isn't it, when, you, when you're playing well oh, and you're breaking well? What a shot. Yeah. And um, you yeah, were in the felt, zone. Felt good. Yeah, that's it. And that, that's, um, I think that's what won me the match. But. Uh, you looked brilliant out there. The, the balls you played, the um, Callens off another ball and in the pocket were fantastic. Cheers, mate. Can you, can you, I, I talked about that free, a couple of rail shot. What the hell were you doing? You <laughs> just, just played it. Yeah, that's all I could do, wasn't it? So. You played fantastic. Um, what's the future for you, um, Greg? What's going on? So, Obviously, I'm on the uh, professional IPA tour, and uh, that's that's where I'm concentrating everything at the moment. I've got a uh, £10,000 money match next month with Shane Thompson. Wow. Yeah, another quality player from the... Um, quality? What the Spenny's play. stable. And where uh, are you playing this? That's at this club in Exeter. Fantastic. That's, yeah, and then a, arranged... Um, it's a double, so it's first game is here, and then the uh, second game will be at Spenny's Sports Bar. So that you could lose 20 grand? I could could lose 20 grand, but more than likely I'll win 20 grand. So Can I just say the way you play today? Shane, get practising. Well, no, I mean, Shane's a quality player, so <coughs> it's all on the night, isn't it? But uh, he's, congratulations to him. He's qualified again for Eng the England team today, oh. so uh, well done to Shane. Oh, Shane, well and done. A, and a, and a, you know, a nice chap, to be honest. Definitely, I... I try to qualify for the England team. Um, Chris Littler, he beat me in the qualifier uh, to, re to represent England many, many years ago. I gave, uh, it was in the EPA, and uh, I gave Chris Littler two shots. He couldn't do anything. All the balls were tied up, and he created a m two miracles, and he got it. Mm. Can happen, can't it? I was, I was Sean McGugan, Jason Twist were all looking forward to seeing Pepsi go through to the England team, and I was in tears, so uh, I was gone. Yeah. That's Paul. And then the following year, I went up with Richie Blackmore and I lost by one point. So, my future in the England team, I'm afraid I didn't make it. But there was no way I gave up. No. Yeah. 
but Mike King, England international, representing his country. God, didn't he do well? Yeah, he's a fantastic player, isn't he? Proving it on time and time again. This is why this um, matchup tonight is so interesting because obviously yeah, all of these players in their own right are fantastic players, but um, it's a, a, a different mix in that they're playing together, you know, and who will adapt and who will play the best uh, as a team. And, it, and, and when I introduce them now, this is the first money match in the southwest for doubles. Mm. Yeah, I've never seen one before. This is the first, and I spoke to the players privately, and I, I, I said they're all nervous. Max is very, very nervous out there. Look at the determination, what he wants to do right there. What a shot that could have gone in off. Yeah, he played that well. You can just see Dean Lapham's leg on the left hand side. Paler than pale. Nice bloke, though. That's all that matters. Stop pulling his leg. <laughs> So it looks like, um, barring any calamities, they're going to be going 2-0 up. That's massive. And uh, well done to Beard Productions here and uh, All Stars. And thank you very, very much, Greg, to give commentary with you. Because uh, you're one of my idols. And you always have been. Uh, I, I spoke about you earlier when you were playing. And I remember you in Super League. And uh, I think I might have beaten you, actually. Probably did. Everyone else has. <laughs> And and I then I thought I, I came second in the the rankings and I lost by one point. It was the last time I played Super League and uh, I played you and it was a great game. But I played silly stuff with the black because I didn't realise there was a championship involved, players championship. And uh, but playing you was fantastic. I am. Um, I remember you from the matchroom centre wow. years ago. Oh, cool! Yeah, I'm an old man now. Back in uh, Plymouth. So, uh, uh, how many two years? nil to uh, Nosco and Corkett. How That's got to be 10, 15 years ago, Pepsi, isn't it? <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. When I played snooker down there. Yeah, you did. John, yeah. John Hearn. Oh, yeah. Top, top coach. We used to play each other, and we never played for money. We used to play for table time. If I beat him, we played chi uh, Chinese eight ball. But what we did was we put the American balls on the snooker table, junior snooker table, and I could beat him. So I didn't have to pay for the table. Because back then I didn't have much money. But the car, that was going back some years. Mm. So um, Mike unfortunately went in off his first break and Hayden has done the same. So they've uh, they've given Josh and Max the option and the, the free shot to start with. So you would imagine that um, they'll look at yellows, I would have thought. Just a quick question for you, um, Greg. Name me your top three clubs in the Southwest. We'll go from three to one. What, pool clubs? Yeah, pool clubs. Um, well, I think not just because we're here, you'd have to go with the All Stars clubs. But no, we'll go with number three. Oh, uh, number, number three. three and then um, the best. Number three. Probably have to go with the um, the Golden Bottle in Bristol. Wow. I've heard good things about that place. Okay. Um, that would be three. Do they do food there? They do food by all accounts, yeah. I'm not sure it's five star, but they do food. And what's the table rating? Uh, three, three out of five, you know, okay. mediocre. And in at number two? In at number two would probably have to be um, the Spenny's Sports Bar. Okay. Um, do they do food? There. They do food, a variety of foods. Table number? Table, uh, I think they've got uh, six or eight tables in there. And Mark's, um, out, and Mark's out of five. Yeah, I give it four. And the winner from Greg Batten has to be the all-star uh, sports bar here in Exeter. They've also got one in Bristol, Taunton. They're just running things in the southwest. Five stars. Take care. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my top three. I go with um, Hughes Pool Club uh, for atmosphere. And I go for the plaza. 
number oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should have said the plans, no. actually. It's been two or one, definitely. Yeah, I forgot that. Okay, but I will, go, I will go for five out of five for the yep. tables at the plaza. Yeah, definitely now, yeah. But I will go for All Stars because their presentation, um, they, it's just to come and feel uh, being loved before you come in the door and you can pick your table you, you, you can pick a table and you just stay there and your food's five out of five the tables four and a half out of five very close to a macalette yeah the, i think you're right and 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 that's why i would go for it and the standard as well you got okay you're not looking at um the gareth potts the mick hills playing you're looking at the future players playing They've had their day, and, they, and, and this is what is today is called Fantastic Day for players who don't play for money. I've seen guys playing for thousands today, and they've won it. Mm. I don't want to go to work. I go and play a game of pool up at All Stars. Yeah. I won 1,500 quid. Look at Nick the Chalk. He, he's on 1,500 quid. Not bad for a day's work. Yeah, Nic Nicholas Chalk has had a, a fantastic day today, hasn't he? By all accounts, so fair play to him. I think Mike and, and Hayden haven't quite settled just yet. That wasn't Mike's uh, best shot there. They've they've given the table over to Josh and Josh and Max, and it looks like if they can clip this yellow in, or play the plant, could be going three 0 Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. When we when I used to play pool, going back when I was about fifteen. Um, I used to play in a hotel and uh, I, c I couldn't afford the table so I, I would miss the balls so, so they didn't go down the pocket and then when I got into my first pub playing pool all I ever did was pop balls and, 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 and then went from there and then Pepsi became Pepsi after winning the Pepsi Challenge and, and I became pretty famous in, in Plymouth and uh, went on the IPA tour for the first time I got destroyed God, those guys were incredible. I think I remember seeing you play at Bristol, Canesham. Yeah, for the playoff. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. Listen to this, guys. This is, this is, um, I didn't have any money, okay? And I borrowed money to play in an IPA qualifier. I played the best pool I've ever played in my life. Only one player beat me all day. And he went on to become one of the greatest players in English eight ball, Mr. Mike King. And uh, Derek Murphy, I absolutely, and I couldn't believe it. This guy was a phenomenal player. I beat him, and I beat everybody else. And I was so excited, and Ben Flack said to me, you need to beat Mike King to qualify. Now, I've already qualified, because it, they, they, uh, they take two people from the group, about 10 people. But I qualified, but he didn't tell me, and I was really ill, because I'd lost to Mike, and it was all on the decider. And Mike said to me afterwards, you qualified as well, Patsy. I went, wow. And I went up to the IPA, saw George Harwood, saw everybody. And I said, hi, everybody. My name's Pepsi. And I'm coming in here. I'm, I'm going to do the best I can. Take care. Round one out. Take care. Here's what you could have won. Yeah. Oh, dear. That was a mistake there, I think, by Max. That's uh, two shots to... Uh Hayden and, and Mike, so a chance to uh, get back into this match. And, and then, and then in 2000, uh, after playing on the tour, in 2009 was the the, the pinnacle of my career. Um, first player in the world to play live around the world seven times. Um, that will thank you very much to George Howard and the IPA for that. Started in the opening ceremony with George uh, um, uh, Rob Uzel, England manager, and uh, my career just. Rocketed. I've never looked back. No. Well, I mean, one of the very few that's actually done it all in, in all different, you know. I've started in the World Nine Ball Championship six times. <coughs> uh, I'm going for my seventh time. And uh, it's been fantastic. I've had a fantastic future in, in Nine Ball, in Eight Ball. I'm one of the luckiest players in the world. It, you don't, what, what Pepsi's all about, you, you don't have to win major world titles to be recognised. You can go in and win local tournaments, which we play. There's one guy happening. They, they sent me a, a text. Perhaps we miss you. Um, Nero Bianco, up, runner up, and things like that. Winners. But what I'm explaining, world title, the world champions get forgotten about. They spend them two or three thousand. 
they're for the winner, you know, but the, the Butlin days, the five man team events, national championships, and yeah. all that, that's a great shot. And, and that's what you get recognized through play, playing for your county, Super League. That's who you, what you get paid for, you know? Mm. But, but not only that, you know, you're an entertainer, a born entertainer. Yeah, I, I, it, and, and the person who gave me all the confidence, and I've just put it on my Facebook, Ted Lerner, gave me the confidence to, to do that. And I've had You him learned a lot from him. Uh, uh, over six years, yeah. Mm. Mm. And we see each other once a year, and we sit down, and if you look at my Facebook, we've had interviews, and we sit down, and I have a cup of tea with the, the biggest man in the world. Um, uh, it's it's just an honour to be with them, and they accept you because you you're not false. You go in there and you be polite to people, so it's a great honour to to mix with it. like Darren Appleton, who comes perhaps he right. We're going to play live, you and me. Let's get it on. I lost nine eight, and then I'm playing Imran Majid. Then I'm playing Sky Wood. Wood oh, sorry, um, uh, Hunter Lopez, one of the Americans, and then if you look at YouTube, Pepsi versus Efren. My biggest, one of my biggest paydays, uh, two thousand US dollars for twelve minutes. Um, you see everything in twelve minutes, and and that's what Pepsi is all about. But when you try and make England English eight ball, it's very difficult to make money. And you're hanging around with Keith Brewer, you're hanging around with big guys who need the money, and you're going up and you're playing these guys. And now it's like Craig Batten. You're playing Craig Batten. You're playing Max. It, th these guys are in a different league because you, you work hard at the new game and what's helped you guys is the Blackpool rules back in those days it was EPA and EPA was fantastic and we went up country and next minute I hadn't even potted a ball my opponents just potted all my balls and they got two shots on the black and that was Keith Brewer I was like what was all that about yeah well there's another name he's done it all isn't it Keith Brewer Crikey. he's fantastic yeah and, and I'm still going strong now. And, and, and one of the biggest names I've ever, ever met, Leo the Hat. Oh, what a man. He passed away and I met his son, John. But, um, yeah, there's some big names out there. I'll give Oli Bell a shout because I spent 15 years on the road with Oli Bell. Terry Humphreys, the eight ball wizard. John Clark, great player in his day. What was that one? Um, was that just a container safety? Yeah, he's played a safety, snookered, uh, snookered them on the yellow behind the black, forcing them to probably play. Have um, you had a? Have you played Chinese eight ball? No, no, I've never played it. They got the table coming here. Have they? Breaking news! Wow. Who, did you, who did you hear that from? Peter. Ah, wow. He said to me, "Pets, the Chinese eight ball's coming to." stars. Wow. So it could be the first Chinese eight ball table in England. Yeah, well, not in England, in South West. Yeah, there's quite a few kicking about now. Yeah, there is, yeah. Gareth Potts was the first one to have one, I think, and uh, I know there's a couple down at the Court Club. Wow. Uh, owned by John Rowe. Um, I know there's a few other, other places that have got them as well, so that's a game that's uh, taking off, isn't it? Crikey. Our fan, he, he's doing well, Clinton. He's, unsigned. he's doing well. The, 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 Mick Hill's doing well Darren Appleton's doing well everybody's doing well but you've got to spend uh, a pool player's life is like this ladies and gentlemen to go to a competition in China you need £3,000 that's your two weeks accommodation for hotels your flights, your entrance fees to get started you need the right queue uh, breaking queue, jump queue so it's going to cost you a few grand. So if you've got five thousand pound, go and go to the competition. And by the way, if you if you get past round one, well done, because mm. you have to go into a, a. I play in a hundred and eight, a hundred and twenty-eight top of the players in the world. I play in the qualifier. I think I was the only England player in the last six years to play in the World Championship qualifiers because I get I could get seeded um, for the table sponsor which is Araka, they're the, the official table sponsors, and I could get seeded into stage two, but I've never accepted it because I work hard and, and go through the qualifying stages. And I've lost in about four semis, one final, to get through the main event, and I've had a great time. But being a pool player in England, English eight ball, 
the IPA tour. Is it the UK tour? Mm -hmm. So there is. The, but look at those players. Wow, those players are phenomenal. I remember playing live around the world seven times. Here's the players. Here's some of the players I remember. Roland McCarthy, I played. Um, Rob Uzel, um Just trying to think. I can't remember all of them. Um, but they're great players. The biggest player ever to come to see Pepsi play, the world champion snooker player, Mark Selby. He came to watch me play, and, and, and that was fantastic honor. And I had a photograph shoot with him as well. That was brilliant. I was on the IPA tour. I think I won 7 1 that day. I was so pumped up. It was unbelievable. Mark Selby sitting in the crowd watching Pepsi play. That's brilliant. That's true, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Josh. What's he doing here? Can't sit. What's that? Surely this is the end of game. You can't sit on that, surely. No, you'd think that Hayden would um, probably try and pot the red over the hole and maybe even either cannon the yellow away or cannon the black out into a more favourable position. Yeah, yeah that's what he's done. So it should be all she wrote for this frame. They just need to make sure they get on that red up the cushion in a, in a nice way. I don't know if they'll look at playing that in the next couple of shots. You read that very, very well. I didn't see that. I didn't think about moving the yellow. Well, I think the shot that they, the guys played, Josh and Max played, was to try and block the black from going in this pocket, okay. in the bottom left-hand pocket. So That's why he did with the yellow. Yeah, yeah. I'm not being rude, Craig. That's why you're one of the top players in the Southwest. Well, number two. And you beat the number one today, playing and thinking like you are commentating. Different league. And you are spot on. Look at that pinpoint position. I think um, Mike, Michael Bryan's just won. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Michael Bryan's just... Yeah. Michael Bryan is just... Um, he's lied to me. Uh, and he, he pretended that he'd lost. But actually, he's just texted me to say he's won 17... 17-11 or something. Was it 17-11, Mike? <laughs> he's a class act, this he's, boy. He's well done to Mike. It's my team captain in Super League. Yeah. We won the uh, Super League in uh, around our region and we went to Great Yarmouth and I think we lost in the semi-finals. I'd just like to recap. He's actually won 17-7 and um, he, he actually... <laughs> sent me a picture of his tip that had fallen off this morning and his feral and he still managed to uh, annihilate uh, who was the guy he was playing what was it? daniel daniel hone hone hein? daniel hein he's beat 17 7 so he's, he's devastated him basically he's opened him up like a can of worms well ladies um, and gentlemen let's hear from uh, michael Bryan, my team captain for super league and here he comes yeah, Pepsi will be back shortly, ladies and gentlemen, but we're, we're joined now by Mike O'Brien, who's fresh off of his um, uh, massive defeat, it has to be said. Poor Daniel Hines looking like he's, he's left the building, I don't know. but uh, No, no, he's still here. He's still here, is he drowning his sorrows, mate? Well, well done well, anyway. I've got him a couple of bottles of blood to that, but <laughs> listen, he's a lovely, lovely kid, but yeah. the problem with it is he should never own a queue. No. I mean, <laughs> what a terrible player. He's an absolute joke, but... That's the way of the world, mate. Yeah. Uh, you know, he had the balls to play the match. You've got to give him credit yeah. for that. But uh, like yep. you said, stepped into the, the, the wrong match, perhaps. So. Well, he's played probably Devon's top, or probably in the top 75 to 80. Yep. And, uh, and he's done all right. Fair play to him. He got, he got to seven. I mean, I was a little bit disgusted that he won seven. But that's poor, isn't it? Do you know, yeah. sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. That's right? it, mate. What, what's, your, what's your view on this match then? King um, and Penny, Nosco and Corkett. Who do well, you fancy? I've, I've been forced to have a little flutter on it, which have I didn't really want to. But, mate, it's, it's awkward, isn't it? Because Mike King's clearly miles miles better than uh, Nosco. Um, so are you. I was, as you proved earlier, you absolutely smashed him, which, again, I didn't think he would get to eight frames tonight, but fair play, he did. Do you know it's, and it, But the problem is... The only thing I don't like about the game is the Scotch double side of things is Josh and Max are good friends, so they play together quite a bit, which gives them their chance to win. Um, I actually think Josh is a phenomenal player. I think he's very underrated. A lot of people don't rate him as high as I do, but I think he's such a great player. And not he's only that, he's, a, he, as well, he's, a, he's a nice guy. Yeah. You're not going to see me uh, rip him on here because I like him too much. But Nosco is going to get ruined. <laughs> <laughs> it's all banter for everyone at home. It's all banter. They're good friends, uh, Max and, uh, and Mike, so... 
yeah, it's all, all good humour. But uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think um, Nosco and Cork are obviously good friends off the table and they know each other's game inside out, don't they? Whereas Hayden and, and Mike, obviously they don't, they're not from the same town. Hayden's from Plymouth. They, they haven't played together before, so that could be a factor. In Scott, in Scott's doubles is such a weird game, isn't it? Because if you understand that you're... Put, it, it's silly things. Like, I mean, I'm quite a negative player, where if I'm playing with somebody who's going to pot for fun, I wouldn't really want to partner that person because they're playing a different game to me. Yeah. So that's my only concern with tonight. I mean, it, mind you, it, it, it's a complete 50-50 game. Yeah. Max and Mike, you've all joking aside, you've got to say they're, they're probably on the same sort of level-ish. And yeah. so is Josh and Aidan. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. What is the pot then? Is it five thousand pack two two and a half no, pound each? It's, oh well, well, last I heard it was six thousand pound pot. Was it? So I think I may be it's mistaken. Gone up on side bets and stuff. No, it, was, it no, it was always. Um, I think it was always fifteen hundred pound per player. All right, okay. uh, I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I, from what I was there today, it was definitely fifteen hundred each. Yeah, I'd give a slight advantage, although. Um, I said earlier I thought it might be a slight advantage because Max has already played on the table today, but obviously it's it's Mike's home table anyway, so he knows it inside out, doesn't he? So yeah, but then Mike don't play on this table, does he? He plays on his his own table, I suppose. No, I think this is the table. Oh. They, they've moved this table from um, oh, the other right. end of the room. This is Mike's table with the prop with the um, really fast cloth on it. This so, is the so, so basically Mike does, does what he wants in the club. That's it. He owns a club pretty much. So. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the game, then, Greg? Who do, you, who do you fancy? Oh, I don't know. It's a tough one. Obviously, I'm biased because I would want I would want Mike and Aiden to win. I, don't get me wrong. I like Max and Josh, but um, obviously, known Mike for 20 years, known yeah. Aiden a long time now as well. Would would want them to win, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm like you. It's a toss of a coin, I think, at the moment. So I'm not sure again. Who do you think is going to win, buddy? You're not going to sit on the fence with me here, mate. <laughs> um. It's only two one. It's, it's it's looking like two each because yeah, I think I think Mike and uh, Hayden are gonna adapt. I think they'll get better as the game goes on. I think they might have a bit too much. Nosco's clearly he's in a world of hurt mentally. Obviously after the devastating um, loss he's had earlier. But oh, did you beat him? Did you? No, I scraped home. But no, I mean only joking. He, he, I think um, it's going to be a good match. It's going to be a close match. But That's I do favour Mike and Hayden just. Okay. What was the final score? Joke on the side. I didn't actually see it. I know you won, but I didn't. Yeah, no, it was um, eighteen eleven. Well, you should be ashamed of yourself. When, when you're eleven four up or eleven five up, you expect somebody to pull away. But not to worry, mate. You, these are things you learn on. That's it. No, he's um, he's a class player. I'm, I'm over the moon to be honest. To win, to be fair, I wouldn't I wouldn't come into it with the best of form. So uh, no, yeah. I heard. Yeah, you won the safe house open, didn't you? No, you must be devastated again, mate, yeah. But not the best of form, obviously. That's a great shot. Oh, is it? Is it? Can you see this red? Perhaps we can get a change of angle. Yeah, you can Just see have it. A look. You can see it to bot it. Oh, no, we can't. He's going into him. Hmm. No, this, isn't, this could go wrong. Hopefully it goes right. Best players playing the shot. That's a good thing. Come on. Oh, no. In fairness to Mike, he didn't have a lot of options there. It was, no. a, it was a shot before that wasn't the best of shots. And that's but that's that's where the difference is. I mean, no disrespect, but they were in perfect position yeah. there. And Hayden obviously has played a bad shot, and that's what can cost. That's cost them the frame probably. And that's three. That'll be three one down. So it's massive compared to two, or even at this early stage. Yeah, I can't see him winning the frame from here personally. So did you um, drive down today, buddy? Well, it was an awkward one, mate, because you know. I had 10 bottles before I left, so, <laughs> but, yeah, I've got to stop. 10 bottles of water? No, no, the Budweiser's, <laughs> mate, they're, they're quite nice, <laughs> they taste all right. I'll do, mate, I'll be honest, I do have a set rule now, no more than 15 bottles and driving home. Yeah, well, I think it was you that told me that you could have seven and drive anywhere in Devon, I'm pretty sure. No, no, that's Cornwall, mate. Oh, that's Cornwall, yeah. De yeah. Devon's 11 bottles. Yeah, 11, yeah. yeah. That's it, that's it. But, mate, that was a fair old shot there, wasn't it? I mean, he, 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 well, no, it was very... No, it's a shame. For all the viewers that we're not advocating drink driving, I, th I think it's appalling. I would never do that, um, but yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> each to their own. <coughs> so what's that? You're sat in front of you drinking there, buddy. That's a mineral water with a slice of lemon. Yeah. So what's happened there? I've just missed that. Have they? He, um, yeah, he, he didn't quite play a great shot, unfortunately. But always oh, black ball as well. Oh, yeah. That makes it slightly more difficult. Well, not difficult, but it makes a. It's not mind the work, aren't they? Two shots on the clearance difficult. Do we know any other results today? How did um, Phil Law get get on against Nicholas Chalk? Well, Nick Chalk beat him 11-4. Did 
did he? Yeah. yeah. So Nick Chalk has won every single one of his matches today. Every game. Wow. And I will, you know, you can't argue. It's what an achievement. It's yeah, brilliant. It's fair play to him. I, I thought Shane DeGale would, would have won com comfortably, especially coming back to 10-9. But when yeah. I watched a few of his games, you, you can't argue. The man played very well. Yeah. Simple as that. He, he done the business. Yeah. But to win three at three. This is why I'm very confident as well that Mike and Aiden will win because Chalky's backed them. So has he? <laughs> the man can't lose today. He, yeah, I mean, he's never backed me once in his life. And, and I, I might be wrong, but I heard on the grapevine that he may have, and I don't know this for sure, but he may have backed Max Nosco today. Um, I might be wrong, but... What you did know, you pay it, for? If he has, it was only £500 pot. If he, if he has backed him, then all I'd say is, you know, when are you going to learn, Nick Chalk? You know, he's, he's done this quite a few times now. And he's got a very so bad he's, record. He's, he's got it back, though, hasn't he? He's won all his three matches. I don't know... He must be I know up. he's back them. He's, he's back the game tonight. Seb Webb and Turney, George Turney. George Turney. What's the score on that one there? Anyone know? No idea. That's an interesting game, I suppose. Well, at least um, George Turney's a nice bloke, isn't he? Never met the man. No, Never met him. no. no. Boiler Counts is a nice chap. Yeah, he's he's doing wonders for. To be honest, I like his interviews. I think it's good yeah. for Paul. He's got a good um, physique as well. He's got a very yeah, nice body. Clearly, clearly works out. Yeah, he's got. Funny looking bloke, but he's got like stick legs and a big body with a sort of potato head. Well, I wouldn't say he's funny looking bloke, I'd say he's complete and utter disgrace of a bloke, but fair play to him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Watching his games is funny, you can't argue yeah, with him. Yeah, he he he's, he's been entertaining and he's um, he's put a bit of life back into Paul, so fair play to him. Oh, I, I, I do enjoy it, I think it's funny as hell, it really is. I would say, how he gets his back in, he must have some multi millionaire friends because. Who's the last two players he's lost to? No, yeah, but he's won some big, big games, mate. He's, yeah, uh, no, I know that. But who, who he lost. He lost to Ben Mackey. He yeah. lost, uh, but then Ben's. Uh, I think Ben's a very good player. Very steady. Yeah. He's not, you know, he's no worldy, but he's such a steady player. And that. Yeah, agreed. You know, they're they're going to win more than they lose. I think. Uh, and that I mean, Lee Washbrook played well against him. I think. Didn't he? see the game, mate. I watched the start of it when Lee was not the best. Yeah. But um, I heard after then he played really well. So but that was wasn't that a fifty-two thousand pot? Wow. I think it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Incredible. Looking like he's going to go free one of them. This is a presser one, I suppose. Well, it's not, but... No, he should be fine here. Just screw this up back up the table. You got any other games lined up then, mate? Or you're, you're uh, going yeah. on the pipeline? Yeah, playing next month uh, here, actually, against Shane Thompson. So... Yeah. That should be good. I know um, Shane's just qualified, wow. re-qualified for the England team today. So well done, Shane. I said earlier, and um, yeah, should be a good match. He's he's um, he's a quality player, and uh, he's improved since the last few times. Is last it? Is it times. Sorry, is it Blackpool? Where yeah, Blackpool rules. Yeah. The rules. yeah. Have you ever played him before? Or? Yeah, I played him twice. A um, few years ago, mind. Yeah. Oh, played, him, played him at my club and played him at his club in Bristol back when he was at the Three Crowns. Oh yes, yeah, I remember that. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think it was on holiday when you played that game. Were you? I think so. Oh, mate. that's right. Yeah, I think you were. Yeah. I remember speaking to you. Yeah, yeah. So I, I managed. Sorry, to did, you, did you win both yeah, games? I managed to win yeah. both games, but um, I'm under no illusions. I know he's yeah, improved a lot agree. since the last time I played and him. Did, so. did, I, th oh, I can't remember. I think we went out in the pot, didn't we, both times? <laughs> I think we did, mate. Yeah. Wow! Oh my wow. god! What wow! Shot, ladies and gentlemen. Lady, wow! Lock up your daughters. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's just gone off. What a shot! What's up there? One of the best shots I think I've ever seen in my life. King, he's uh, managed wow. to hold himself together and pop the black. That's brilliant. Oh, that's incredible. Two Absolutely each. Absolutely incredible. Look at this. Oh, watch again, ladies and gentlemen. Did it touch the sides or was it a straight in? Well, he's hit it so hard. I mean... Well, the man's... What, wow, wow. Oh, it didn't even touch God. the sides. What a player. Oh, it's bullying. It's absolute bullying. Look at the white look. Yeah. Sorry, so back to the uh, the Shane game. You, you beat him both times. <coughs> yeah, but I think yeah. both times it was it was a it was close. I think it was fairly close both times and yeah. a good game. So uh, he's a nice bloke. I get on with Shane and yeah, um, lovely guy, very nice. I I uh, I'm looking forward to it. And what's the what's the part and what's the race? It's um, five grand a man wow. at the moment, and um, Mike King's sorting it all out for me. I've said to, Mike King phoned me and asked me if I wanted the game, and I said yeah, I'd play as providing I don't have to do any anything yeah. bar practice and turn up so he's sorting everything out for me financially and then I'll just turn up and play on the 20th of June in, in this club and then the rematch will be at Spenny's so yeah looking forward to it
Got to fancy yourself, supposed to be in 2 0 up. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. I'll go into it um, uh, just another match, you know. Shane's one of those players when he's, he, I mean, he's absolute brilliant, but he's got such a great B game, which yeah, exactly. wins you so many games. So. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to, he, he'll either play really well or he'll just, he'll, like you said, he'll play his B game, which is normally good enough against right, most players, his, isn't it? His so. B game is, is just as well. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of conversation. I always hear it from the Bristol lads like about Max, who's better, Max or Shane. And I've always said it, you know, Max on his day is, is up there with some of the best around, simple as that. But he's proven it, hasn't he? Yeah, Shane, Shane's got that B game, though. When, yeah. Whenever, if it's not going well, he's got that game to, to turn it around. An yeah. Incredible player. Yeah. Hopefully the B game and the A game don't turn up when he plays you. Yeah, hopefully it's the F or something like that. Well, I'm going to be an impartial player on the day, obviously. Again. Well, that's it. Yeah, you won't you won't be touching it. I wouldn't imagine, would you? Not. No, no. Well, you know, I mean, it's one of them. It's, it's an awkward, isn't it? I mean, if you do, it's a light fifty or something like that. You know, yeah, and a bit of fun, a yeah. few bottles of bud, and then definitely, drive home. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you can see there, Dean Lapham is um, eight two up against. Ben Smith, I think it now, is. I was saying earlier, yeah, he's, he's flying over there, Dean Lapham, and I'm mm. pretty sure he's blinding everyone because of how pale he is. But he's a lovely, lovely guy. Really nice he's guy. He needs a sunbed. But you, yeah, but you say that. I mean, I did hear a rumour a couple of years back. He had two and a half minutes, and, it, um, and he had to go hospital. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's sunbed's clearly not, not for the man. No, but, but all I mean, joking aside, he's a top, top oh, guy, isn't he? he's a lovely so. guy. Lovely, lovely guy. I'm glad that he's doing well. Yeah. What was the pot over there? Uh, I think it was 1,500 each. That's it. I've noticed their backer has gone awfully quiet since yeah, the start they, of the game. Yeah, they started off. That tends to happen though when you're 8-2 down and um, and looking a little bit silly, I suppose. What's happened there? Is Mike, Mike's not played the best shot there, has he? I won't, I won't say it was that good. Lucky enough, Max is next though. Well, I think Max's confidence is probably a bit short after he got moored earlier on. We'll soon see. Oh, he's played that okay in fairness. Yeah, he's a yeah. good shot. I'll give him that. Although he has left a slight opportunity for Hayden to pop this red up the top. Well, I'll call it now. If it goes, he'll get it. After that double in the last frame. Yeah, he's got to be feeling good, isn't he? Watch him miss it by yard. <laughs> oh. Straight down. Well, he won't, he won't touch the sides. Oh, Hayden. Oh, he's cued that well, wow. hasn't he? That's a really good shot. Fair play, don't miss many parts. I mean, it's got to get the bag here. So. Yeah. Mike will play the plant, I would have thought, and he would try and either get the bag or, or, or pot it. Oh, wait, well, you don't want to pot this. No chance. No, that's a great shot. Yeah, great. Yeah, you were right. He's, he's was your game quite open against Max then, or did it go Yeah, it was. Negative? It was really open. I don't think we had a. I don't think he had one slow frame. Not like I can remember anyway, and uh, the breaks. I broke really well for once in my life, and um, he broke as he always does, which is really good. And yeah, it was all all open. He was going to clear up, you know. And I think he he probably had five or six eight balls, and I had I had a few. And yeah, it was just one of those games where well, I, I did I did hear a rumor for the great one. You had ten. I d I can't comment, but in the middle part of the match is is where it it happened for me. It was three all. Oh, you mean when when it was four all, and then you went to eleven four, eleven five. Yeah, that's yeah. that's when it happened for me. So. Yeah, I, I already did play quite well in those frames as well. It was you know, it's, it's the way it goes, isn't it? When you when you're playing somebody who's far superior, sometimes the shots don't go for you. I mean, he was obviously very confident because he? he beat um, Darren quite well last month, wasn't it? So that. Again, yeah, Darren, it's, it's that he's he's a freak of a player, isn't he? When he's on it, he's incredible. One of them. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. That, that night, in fairness, Max didn't miss many balls. That's what I heard, yeah. And, and he can do that, can't he? At the end of the day, a lot of the times, it's just on the night. Max has proven how good he is. and Didn't prove it tonight. The just my day today, so. It's your round in a minute, mate, anyway. I'm not driving for a few hours, so. I'm used to getting the beers when I'm out with you, in fairness, mate, so that's <laughs> never a problem. Oh wow! Oh no! Well, that's up there with one of the worst shots I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I think you can clearly see they're starting to hit an up. They went two 0 up. They've got it back to two each, and um, the pressure's obviously clearly kicked in. It's an hard game to go when you're the pressure. Who was that? Was that Max or Josh? Um, I don't know actually. It might have been Josh. Oh, I'm not sure. I can't. Know. What are they doing here then, Greg? Because black ball's not my... Uh... So they're reds. Basically, what they'll do, or what they should be doing, is... Uh... See, I mean, I don't know much about this, but me now, I'd pop that yellow over the corner and get the red over the bag by the black in the corner. 
and let them have a go. But then I'm a, I'm a not a very good player. Well, Blackpool, he's got one free shot, so he can yeah. do what he wants, basically. What would you do here, then? Um, Sit on the fence and wait for them to play the shot and then comment? I don't even know. Hang on. Um, yeah, I might try that. <laughs> it's not looking good. I don't no, know. I got a clue. Hayden's going for it. Hayden don't play many safeties. No, he looks like he's going for something. Oh, nervous. He's actually played a. He's played a really good shot there. All right, he's had a slight bit of luck in that the whites landed perfect off of a cannon, but that but, was the but, shot he played. But really, where, where was it going to land? It all took inside. He, he's clearly played for something like that. Yeah, it? exactly. It was a good shot. That's a great shot. This is a this is a bit of a tough one. So he needs to screw this back up the table so that he can play the other red in the opposite yeah. pocket. Oh, wow. Well, is it, uh, it's not too bad. Mike should be able to either screw this yeah. back or stun across. But, yeah, this is the shot you prefer to be bottom side than top definitely, side. Definitely, yeah, definitely. But lucky enough. He's got a cue this well. Yeah, I can't see him missing it personally, but big shot in the match. Great, great ball. Good shot from Mike there. Great shot. White's a bit. Ooh. Oi, oi. After the double Aiden pulled off last time, I, again, I'm not expecting anything. No, I'm just no thinking, is the natural angle to go in off in the middle? No chance. No? Not a chance. We'll see how he plays it. You'd want to play this just top of the ball, wouldn't you, normally? But you might screw it. He's fine with the middle. It's going it? in the middle. Yeah. No, it's not doubling, is it? Double. <gasps> oh, it's a great shot. Great shot. Well, I can't remember 100%, but I don't think it's such a size again. Wow. No, that's 3 2 Sue. Um, when you say you've 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 been roped into a little bit on this, how much have you had, if you don't mind telling the viewers? Yeah, Mike? be totally straight. 2 2 five. Yeah. 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 Just a light one then. Well, I didn't, again, I didn't want to touch anything, but no. I was, um, I had 75 before, I can say Aiden was a bit, I think Aiden or Mike, whatever, a bit short of their pot. Yeah. Uh, so I had a little 75, but um, once I got in front of Dan Ayn. You thought then, you'd have a bit more, like? Then I thought, oi, oi. Yeah. Then I did, let's go for it. James, he's a nice lad, Dan, he, you know, he's a real nice guy. Yeah, I've always got on well with him. All, all joking aside, he is a nice chap. Good looking missus as well, mate. When you got a head like down line, mate, you're going on with that missus, mate. Fair play to him. He knows that um, obviously it's all banter as well, doesn't he? Uh, Definitely. You know. He also knows he's punching above his weight, so you can't argue with it. So there's a couple of other matches going on at the moment. Um, Andy Coles is playing uh, Dominic Clements from Cornwall, uh, one of Jeremy Hooper's um, good friends. Jeremy was meant to be playing today, but um, uh, that didn't happen with John Sullivan, and then the game with Oli Bale the uh, did, didn't here. happen either. So I feel a bit for Jeremy because oh, he was looking forward no. to playing. That's a shame. Yeah, I, I think the John game cancelled. I don't think John would come down for less than a few, less than proper big pot, was it? I uh, think. Yeah, I, I heard something like that. I'm not sure the, the ins and outs, to be honest. Mind you, it's so, it's so tough, and I do feel for Jeremy because when you're relying on backers, if you get one or two late, you then, which they always do. Yeah. It's such a shame. But not only that, I mean, he, he was well up for it and he's been playing brilliantly. Playing very well. For, he's, you know, he's, he's always been a brilliant player. and uh, you can't know, He's a very, very good player. He won a comp last week. To, oh, oh, my. Wow. Why didn't the game of Oli Bayo happen then? Because I heard that was going to happen. I believe, um, I might be wrong, but I don't think Oli could make the pot. I might be wrong. But I don't Prob well, when you say make the pot. I'm well, I don't believe I he could make. I would assume at short notice, make the pot. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't think he could get any. He's had some big, big games in the past. Yeah, yeah, maybe a too short notice, like yeah, I said. Yeah, say it was one of them. Like yeah, he's been involved in monsters, hasn't he? Yeah, another great player. I've not seen him win many, but he's been involved in some good ones. So Hayden's just got to drop this one in. Well, oh, in the, you mean in the corner? Because it's not going in the middle. I thought it went in the middle, but you get. Oh, oh. he's unlucky. A game that didn't happen tonight was um, Adam Robertson and Sonny Bale, wasn't it? That, that yeah, I've seen something on Facebook. Why mm. Why didn't that one happen? Um, I, I think it was Adam's birthday or something, and I think if maybe one or two people had let him down for the part. But yeah. What was that um, meant to be for? A thousand or something? Well, th I think this was a bit of the problem. I think originally it was like two grand or something, but I, I don't know. I'm not 100%, but I think Sonny then said 500 each or 750 each. Right. And a few of Aiden's backers said, well, it's not worth it for a small pot kind of thing. And then... Right. Then he got let down for a few hundreds here and there, and so I think he just cancelled the game. That'd have been an interesting game. That'd have been a good one to watch. 
who would you have fancied there personally yourself? Um, who would I have fancied there? Probably Sonny, to be honest. I don't really... I mean, Adam's one of the... He's, he's a funny one. He can play awesome sometimes. Mm. I've seen him play absolutely brilliant, but I'm assuming, I've also seen... Yeah, Devin, I, I, well, all I can... Like you said, everyone's a bit of opinions in it. All I can yeah. assume is you've had way too many Carlsbergs. And, uh, but yeah, I've, I've got it wrong in the past many wow. times. So. A, well, I always got lucky they got the bag. Now, it's an old joke aside. It's only ever banter with me and Sonny. I've got nothing personal against the lad. He's had a couple of games which I've watched which haven't been the best. Um, but you know, that's poor, isn't it? I'm yeah, not being funny. Exactly. If you watch more of Dan's game tonight, you everyone will laugh at me, I suppose. It's, it's such an hard thing to do when, when you're stepping up and people's watching you. It's so easy here now. Like even watching this now, watching and commentating, say what we're oh, going to do. Oh, worlds apart. Isn't it? Yeah, it's so easy. This table is is I mean, quick, man. That's well, a good I've got shot. to say, that's absolute plum in it. Yeah, Mike just needs to screw this back a couple of inches, and uh, would you reckon they're going to leave a double? Yes, a double on the black. Well, what, what are you going to go for then, buddy? <laughs> Develop the it, Mike. Even that's not the best angle. No, he's got Although. to punch. He's got to punch up with you. Yeah, that's not the best one. Right, I'm going to shoot off for five minutes and um, let Always Pepsi left. come back in. So I will see you boys in a minute. I'm just about to get Mike another drink and I'm buying the rounds. Oh. <laughs> he clearly lies. Yeah. 4-2. We've just gone 4-2 up there and we've been joined by Pepsi now. Well, first of all, Mike, congratulations on your win. You're my, I'm shaking his hand because he's my team captain. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great honor to introduce you to my Super League team captain yeah. and one of my sponsors um perhaps well, what, what, what do you think of the game me and greg were just talking about the the sunny bay out of robertson game what's your thoughts on that oh let's don't talk about that this oh you got we got a bit of a no. between each other what, what, what do you what, fancy on that can i just finish my conversation i'll come back to you first of all you are my backer in my biggest money game <laughs> I ever would never back you pepsi <laughs> you back me. i love you mate. i would back you a toffee you backed me against Gary Mills. Oh, yes. You couldn't lose that game back then. Gary I was 17-2 up at interval, I think, and I, I was so excited. 21-10. Yeah, no, it was 21-8. No, it was 10. Stop telling noise, Pepsi. It was it was 8. He got to double figures. I was there. I watched no, the game. Eight. Come on. Give me credit. I oh, will give you credit. You've played did you phenomenal. Me, did you? Yeah, thank you for that. I'll shake your hands. Right. Oh. Okay, that's that. Go on, go on then. What, what questions do you want me to No, we're just talking about some other games today. Me and Greg was on about the Sonny Bay or Adam Robinson game. My opinion, if the game happened... Uh, I rate Adam Ali though. I think Adam's one of the one of the top top players. He's he's so underrated and he's. Oh, I love player. Adam. Yeah. Oh, he's a brilliant. Player. I've Adam. played Super League with the man. He's a good man. Yeah, yeah. Played such a good player. I was disappointed. Oh, okay, we, we, bit good at the game that happened tonight. I was hoping that it was going to go on. I was hoping that Oli Bale was going to be taking on. Um, Oli's class as well. You can't. Oh, you can't argue with that. He's, 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 I've brilliant. been on the road with Oli fifteen years. Cool. Can't no, answer. I like Oli. I've got a lot of time for him. Lovely, lovely guy. But. Um, uh, a bit of money ready for him if he needed it. But did um, he not? Did he not fancy the game? I mean, me and Greg were talking then. Why <sighs> didn't that game happen with Jeremy? Because is, is it the backer? Is it? Is well, in his defence, you got to say it's a very short notice game. So it's was he? I think he was ready. Only's well, ready for anybody. Only would play that game all day long. He won't fear nobody. Uh, he's a brilliant player. I think Oli Bell for me is a phenomenal player, but he's picked the wrong players. I mean, he picked Gareth Potts. Great game, and I was there. He picked Roland McCarthy. I was there. Uh, okay, Jason Twist. Yeah, Jason Twist. So he's lost the biggest money games when there's other punters out there I'm ready for him, and they're all ready for him now. Yeah. And uh, to play for ten grand, uh, you know, backers might think, you know, what uh, you, you got a chance here, but it's not happening. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I mean, I went to a Gareth Potts game. It's one of the best games I think I've seen. Was, oh, I was there. You were yeah. there. I was. But then you, you know, everyone says and he should never played it. He was seventeen fifteen up. Playing, playing brilliantly, but then Potsy turned up a gear and won 15 in a row, didn't he? 15 in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was a bad shot. But um, 15 in a row, that's incredible. 
I will say a lot of them frames were probably given to him a little bit. I think he lost his head a little bit in the meantime. But oh, this barricade was crazy, wasn't it? In the atmosphere. Oh, it was a phenomenal night. Brilliant, brilliant night. But when he played Roland missed McCarthy, that, missed that. Wow. Oh, well, he played Roland McCarthy for ten thousand pound. What it, score? I didn't, didn't see that game. Oh, it was close. It was at fifteen each at one stage. And who won it? Sorry, I didn't. Oh, Roland McCarthy won I it. I did he? Yeah. He's a brilliant money player, isn't he? Oh, phenomenal. I played Roland live around the world on the TV table. Phenomenal, tell you. Yeah, I've heard he's a he's an absolute class act. How about? What's your top three venue? I've asked Greg, I've asked um, Hayden. What's your top three venues in the Southwest, starting in uh, number three? Um, mate, you're, you, again, you're asking the wrong person, really, because it's. I don't play in all the places, do I? I mean, the best places I've been to, uh, again, uh, the Extra All Stars, fantastic venue. I love it. Plaza, brilliant venue. Cues. I mean, I grew up playing in Cues. So, so did I. I. I've I'm with you on it. that one. But the, you know, it's it's a very small place. That's the only downside. But phenomenal. The only downside of Cues, you need you need to get a pool player working there. If you yeah. had somebody like Jez working there, he would turn that around tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's that's where it's falling behind. But mate, I, I can't comment because I, I don't play okay. in all the places, so I really don't know. You, you'd know better than me. Bob and Q Club again, fantastic venue. I've, every time I've gone there, it's been a fantastic day. Well, what's the owner of the Bobman Club again? What's his name? Uh, I can't forget uh, his Al name. Barlett. Al Barlett. Yeah, Al, lovely, lovely guy. Uh, I've been on the road with Al. But he loves pool, doesn't he? So when you love pool, you're going you're gonna to have a good club. So, yeah. But every time I've gone there, I've had a brilliant day, brilliant night. And I, 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 I've gone in for All Stars as number one. I've gone in for... What, this place here? Yeah, it's phenomenal. The food's five. I've put the tables in at four, four and a half. Um, the tables in the plaza, I've gone for a five. I've gone for um, Q's Pool Club. Again, the, when, when you talk about plaza, though, you're talking... When you've got, you got Darren McVicker, Jez Gray and Paul oh, Bolson working on the tables, the tables should phenomenal. be the best there are around because you've got three of the best players in Devon playing on them. So if they're not perfect, boy. <laughs> in, in a club like this, no offence, you've got Mike King who helps out and stuff like this, but it's... It's, it's, you know, it's, it's run by a, one person who's not really a pool player, is it? And what about if um, the stand of the pool... What, what I've explained, it's, it's not about Gareth Potts, it's not about Mikhail here no. today. These are the kids who've come in and said, that, you know what, I want to play for money. Mm. And they've come in and playing for money. Of course. I wish I had this years ago. You'd always have it. You'd always can have it. Look at the venue, look at the setup up here. Yeah, look, two you, tables, two money matches. But you're also saying it. I mean, when, when people are playing for money... A lot of times they're getting backed. How many people actually play for their own money? You back? I think I think you put quite a lot in my pot when when I played um, Gary Mills. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you played Mills. Even it won a big pot. What I'm saying is, like today, even like I mean, I played Dan Dan on today. I don't think he, I don't think he put any money himself. Only five hundred each, but I don't think he put no money himself. And a lot of players nowadays, and I'm not I don't not I'm not knocking them. I agree. But a lot of players nowadays they play pool just to win their twenty percent. I agree. And. To me, that's not the way it should be. I think you should always try and put some in yourself. Yeah. But then that's just my opinion. But you're, 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 and it's different feelings when you're playing with your money. Well, I only, well, funny enough, no, I didn't actually. Tonight, I actually, Tony Leaves had a couple of quid on me tonight as well. Hang on a second. The legend Tony Leaves? Yeah. Very good friend of mine. Very Get very out of here. Hey, very good. I was on the road for about bloody 15 years with him. Funny, funny guy. I love him to bits. I wanted to do it on my own, in fairness, but he, he kept going on and on and on and on, so I let him have a little bit on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tony. Oh, he's a lo lovely bloke. Yeah, 15 years on the road with him. Mm. Super League, County, oh, some, we won everything back in those it's a days. very, very good shot by Max, yeah. Looking like he's probably going to go four weeks now. He's played that perfect. I can't believe just now they were 2-0 down, and then they went 4-2 up, and now it's 4-3, now it's 4-4. What mm. a game. Like fairness, Hayden pulled off one of the best doubles I've ever seen in my life. Josh is such a good player. So underrated. He played well just now against it in his first money match. He played Perry, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. He played very well. And Perry's a good player, I remember. Perry, yeah, he's a good player. I mean, I, I, I did have Josh as favourite. No offence to Perry. I love Perry. Lovely guy. Yeah. I, I like Perry. I, I, I rate Josh very highly, though. I think he's such a good, such a good player. He played well. Oh, I must admit, I didn't enjoy the experience when he played Aiden. When we went up to um, Spencer's, I didn't enjoy that experience. Uh, Why was that? 
Oh, it was a riot. Was it? I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't there that night. Oh, I was it was a there, riot. The camera and my family. It was... Where, um, was that... They play, where did they play that night? Was it Spencer's. Oh, no, Spenny's. Spenny's, yeah. yeah. John Bishop's uh, I didn't enjoy it. Again, I, I personally, I like John Bishop, so he's, you know, he's a friend of mine. Yeah. But I know what you're saying. I always say to people, and I do, if you're going to play at the venue... Res respect it. No, no, not respect it. Listen, they're very loud, they're very vocal in what they do. Whether you agree with it or not, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. But all these people know what they're getting into when they go there. I can play so that So don't, don't go there knowing it and then moan after. That's, mo that's my opinion. Yeah, and I agree with I, that. I said to Aiden at the time, I, I don't think you should play the game. I told him straight at the time, I don't think you should play the game at that venue. I no. don't think you can handle the pressure. And afterwards, everyone's saying, well, it's not fine, they've done this, they've done that. Well, that's fine. But don't play there in the first place if that's all you feel. Yeah. Personally, listen, I, I actually got nothing against John. I think he's a nice guy. We got on quite well. Well, um, when I saw the chair coming in at me on the edge, it didn't go down well. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> and then the, and all the framework around the table was all smashed up, and they're going to do this and if that. If there's any trouble during any game, I think it should be cancelled, and and you cancel it personally. But mm. Hayden knew what he was getting into when he went there, and you can't argue with it. But what I'm explaining is he played fantastic. Who Josh, did? Uh, Josh. Uh, um, Josh Corkett. Yeah, he, again, he played, he played you, say, you, you say you played that. That's Josh Corkett. Josh Corkett is an incredibly good player. He's yeah, he so good. underrated because you know he ain't like Max. He's not like Mike. He doesn't pop him off a lampshade. He doesn't no. do everything. He just plays a right shot. If it's not there, he goes safe, and that is what makes a, a, a good player a great player. Yeah, and um, you can't argue with that. You see that shot there? I don't know if he's played that right, but he's played it perfect. Okay. So he got the red in the middle, and he's. I don't see why. He, what's oh, wrong I with thought. That? I thought he wanted. Max was showing he wants the cue ball there. Yeah, but now he's over there. But I'm just saying, they got enough run out. Yeah, I can say he's played that fine. Great job. And your game has improved. What? Your game has improved. What I saw you play today. Well, I don't know. I'm only assuming you're on the beer. No, I don't drink. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. Wait a minute. I'm on lemonade today because the Pepsi's off. Why do this surprises me? I'm, I don't see. Wow. That's what I mean. He didn't want the ball there just yeah, now. But, like, he didn't have to do that. I don't get it. crazy. Um, just had a text message from Matthew Walker. Oh, Unbelievable commentary for me and Pepsi. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Matt, I've got two English uh, nice. apprentices, uh, Matt Walker and Aidan Pinnell uh, is my Aiden, is um, awesome. my two apprentices. Show. Matt Walker is the ultimate showroom. Wow. Uh, showroom, showman. Matt's one of my best friends in the world. And oh, he's, he's, he's not. You, you don't get me. Yes, he is. You don't he's get me. Mine. No, he's not. You Wally. You're off a scene there. You're in Dubai, mate. You're gone. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're an ex friend of Matt's now. Oh, don't be nasty. Well, Brian Camps took your you took your place, buddy. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen. I've got something what not nobody else has got. The Amiga Matt yeah. Walker Camp. Yeah. Still working. Do you know it's funny that because about off to be that watching for you. He said, "Off it to my best friend first, and then if not, give it a Pepsi." That's it. That's it. Well, wait till I see Matt when I see him. I'll tell you what. I'll you tell you what. In Sainsbury's, <laughs> in, in Sainsbury's, right? This is true. The canteen's full of people. Mm -hmm. He's in there selling gas. Okay, I got the lady to do the tannoy yeah. about the gas, and I said, "Matt, come in to dinner. I'll, I'll treat you to dinner." I've opened the canteen door. This is a true story. Mm -hmm. I went in. I said, "Ladies and gentlemen." And everybody looked at me. I said, my best friend's here, Matt Walker. And that is a true story. Everybody looked at me. Has, Matt ever, has Matt ever sold you anything? The man could sell sound to the Arabs. <laughs> he could, he he, could he, sell he, snows to the Eskimos. Mate, do you know what? I, I bought, about, uh, many years back, I bought four or five watches off him. And, uh, and after a few months, I've got funny wrists. I can't wear watches. So I, I'll, I'll give them back to him. And I said, Matt, I've paid for him. I said, have them. Have them back. Just promise me you'll never sell me a watch again because I can't wear them. Too <laughs> 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 And uh, lucky enough, he's never sold me watches. <laughs> I've saved the fortune. But it, it's, it's, I can't describe it. It's, it's like look like the demon Ed Master. <laughs> it, it, you get hypnotized by him. It's incredible. Well, what I like. Oh, wow. Mm. That's a terrible shot. Well, what I like about Matt, okay, he, he puts the highest bids for his watches now, which, which is very calm, calm it, you know, you, they, you want let's, it. Not, let's not talk about his watches online. That's, that's definitely that's his business, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll do Wait, that for back, another time. Yeah, back to the pool there. That, that wasn't a great shot there. Was great it? game. They've gone from favourites to underdogs here. Well, that's a bad shot, isn't it? Mm. And this could be 5 4. And I'll tell you what, the best breaker today is Max. 
Max's break is very good, full stop, in fairness. Did you watch the game with Max and Greg? I was doing the commentary. Oh, it, it went quite as I thought. Did you think it was any different? What did you think of it? Greg's a brilliant player, isn't he? When you, yes, put, uh, when you put money on the table, I've said it many times, when there is money on the table, Greg just goes to a level that not many people can touch. It's, 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 well, it's very strange. I interviewed Craig before the money, uh, before the game, yeah. and, I, and I watched him's game. I've never seen Max play. Oh, Max is brilliant. And what I saw was the greatest money player in the Southwest take on the second greatest money player in the Southwest. Well, I, won't, I won't go that far. I, think I will. Gonna, I, mean, I will. I will. Who is playing for 30,000 and 20,000 yeah, at a listen, time? Right. You, you say that. Right. I'm not being funny. If Jason Twist played tomorrow for 20 grand, are you, you telling me Jason. Max? Are you telling me Max and Greg is better than him? Of course no. he's not. No. If okay. Mike's, if Mike's King's playing, is he better than him? No. Ben Flack, is he better than him? No. no okay, ben Flack fine. and Jason Twist are leagues above. Okay. But then you've got your Mike, your Gregs. Okay. They're, they're the most active players. I'll give you that. That's what but, I meant. You know, you've got people. You know, Jason Twist and them sort of people are just phenomenal talent. Okay. Aren't they? But but they're not playing. No, but they, they don't make them not the greatest money players, is it? All right, then. Yeah. Just because they don't play as much. I mean... That's the, a fair the, show. The problem you've got, right, right Max Noskell's playing Mike King, playing Greg Batten, all this. Would Max Noskell play Jason Twist? I don't, I, don't, I don't think he would. I don't, I don't think know. anybody I don't, would. I, well, you would. You, you get the top, top players. Of course he would. But who's... Mm. You, he needs to play a special, special player, and that's the problem you've got. But what I saw of Max playing today was phenomenal against Craig, and Craig went into a trance and win six frames on the bounce. Yeah. I think you've summed something up. I'll tell um, you what, mate, he's, he's, that's a bad shot. Do you know what I like about you, Mike? What? You say how you see it. Yeah, 100%. And I've, I've always reset 100%. Uh, you never, you years, never call me two face. No. <laughs> if you've got a problem, if you've got a problem. But well, we had some good fun together over oh, the years. We had a good fun with you. You're an absolute legend. I remember the snake. Right, Pepsi, what, oh, don't sorry, back to the pool here. What are they going to do here? Because <laughs> I can't see. They've got a great... He's going to whack it in. Hey, he's got to pump it. But the problem, you've got the red that go in the middle. Mate. He, he can follow through the, the red in the bottom right corner. He's going to put gonna, a break shot in. Josh is such a good player. He's going to get perfect. The problem it. is, whatever they do, if he misses, it's game over. They're not. Aiden and Mike's not going to miss. Uh, are you pumping this screwing back or are you going forward? Wow. Personally, I'd go I'll, forward a little I bit. I would leave the cue ball where it is. Yeah, He's going I would. To screw and it I, would leave Matt, Matt, I would leave Max to play the hard shot. Max is playing it now. No, Max is showing Josh what to do. You try. can't do that. That's a no, foul. No, it's not. You're, they commentate on the rules before and it's fine. Oh, that's right. It's giving his voice, which is fine. Yeah, he's anyway. going screwing back. That's overcooked it. Well, that's an absolute. That's so unlucky. He's overcooked it. Oh, wow. If Matt Walker was here, he would say the exact words, all in. Yeah, but again, you, you can't argue that that was such a great effort. If he, an inch shorter, he's played an absolute world. He were all loving it. Do you know what I like about you, Mike? You're a bloody good commentator. I'm a terrible player, but I can, t I can talk a good game. You, you <laughs> you're worse than Matt Walker. Oh, wow. Abs That's the greatest shot. Wow. We need a replay on that. Let's see if we can get a replay on that. That's the greatest shot today. I was just about to say, it would not surprise you one bit if he pots this, but what can you say to that? He, he can't do that. Drop the key you on. You can do whatever you want. He's cleaning the white. Okay, then. <laughs> Calm down, Pepsi. <laughs> That's such a great shot. He is such a great, great player. Here we go for the action replay. What can you say? Beard ah, Productions. Absolute brilliant. Replay. Maybe that's what Ma Ma Max was saying to him. Leave me beyond the yellow. I'll like it off a cushion. <laughs> that's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you got to say it? This, this isn't an easy black. I wouldn't want to take it. Beard Productions, once again. Here we go. Josh Corkett. Oh, he's, oh, he's missed it. Wow. He's cued. He's, he's no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No, he's jerked on his cue, actually. I was watching it. He went like that. He did a Matt Walker. Moonwalking on the shot. Matt Walker, don't miss Q. Don't no, not miss Q. He, don't he talk jerks. about my mate like that, Pepsi Camp. <laughs> Just because he's ditched you as his friend. Yeah. I play Matt most Ferris at the minute. He's, yeah, he's, he love it. he's loving it. Yeah, I he's love a ma married man, though, isn't he? He can't do yeah, it no more. I love him. I love him to bits. That's his problem, though. He, he just he loves the game so much. He wants to play it. And he, <laughs> he needs a money game to turn no, his life around. No, yes, he no, does. You don't know. Don't need a toy. He's a family man now. He's got his missus and kiddies and all that. Yeah. That's all that matters. He doesn't need the pool world. He's quite happy taking 10 and 20 off me every Thursday. He loves it. <laughs> he told me he's going to start taking Fridays off work if I keep playing every Thursday. 
<laughs> I love his videos. Uh, I love his videos when he goes to his uh, new, new new location. Oh, he's brilliant. <laughs> you you never meet a nicer boy in Paul. Lovely, lovely guy. I watched the, I watched the video when you guys were celebrating on the um on on the football when they won the one what scored again. Yeah, Liverpool. That was funny. <laughs> so here we go. Good shot. This is a. Do you know what? This is a turning point. Um. Yeah, I agree. Because they they really, you know, they probably should have had it. But then in the same breath, we should have had this first. Well, we being we play the cannon. Play the cannon. Team Plymouth. When Mike's Max here. Good shape, Peps. <laughs> well, he, he's a Plymouth only yeah. because he comes down every. The thing is with these two, they're, they're such good potters. You don't need to do too much with the white because they they don't miss. That's a perfect shot. This is why he's in perfect. England international. Oh, he's incredible. Brilliant. Talking about, did you know this is the first money game uh, in doubles for five thousand pound in the southwest? Would surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I wouldn't be surprised if the world runners-up, Darren McVicker and Jazz Graham.
And you'll certainly be back. I remember playing Oli Bell on the IPA tour. It's been fantastic. And uh, Oli, you're one of my idols, mate. So hope everything goes well. It's a tough shot here to, to see how they get on. This is massive. 6 5. He's missed Always it. He's missed it, yeah. Missed it. Oh, we, uh, the commentary lost. was off. We're now back on. Okay. So apologies for that, everybody. Oh, there you go. But um, thank you very much. Have you got any messages? Send on in. Yeah, we've had a few messages. In fairness, mate, from um, from people. Oh, uh, fair shout. Get it up now. Not well, mainly about the streaming and that. And uh, like I say, Laura Cohen, Josh's uh, partner, fiance, lovely girl. Yes. Let's do this for Josh and Max. Oli Bayo, as I said, come on the Spanish boys. Yeah, yes, Oli. Uh, I don't know if you heard just now. I think the world of you, and uh, you're one of the greatest money players in, uh, around. And um, I think it's Mike and Hayden in the balls now, so you probably got a fancy them. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, on the reds, yes. Oh, yeah. Come on, this is gigantic six fight. Where's he going with this then, Mike? Oh, it's definitely the right shot because he's going to leave out the red off by the middle there. He's going to leave out on the cannon for the last. I okay. Assume. 
Yeah, it's all right, mate. Yeah, very good. I can't see no problems here from in front of us. I fully expect the 6-5 here. Do you know who would be a good doubles team? Oli Bell and the 8-ball wizard, Terry Humphreys. That would be a great partnership. <laughs> you, did have, you did have talks to him about this Pepsi. <laughs> oh, they, they, those two would be fantastic together. Great shot there. Against Jez Graham and Darren McVicker. Oh, Jez and Darren all day long. Stop being silly, Pepsi. Okay. As if you would back against them. <laughs> Your, your friendship would only go out the window there, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't Ooh. actually. Ooh. Oh, he's both he's wow. done it perfect. No. Yeah, he's alright. Is he on that? Yeah. Can you see can, a bit of... He can see that. Do you know I yeah, said the way he's got that I said to Beer Productions if we could Oh look at the Ooh, camera. Swerving, swerving a little bit. No, he's missed it. Oh sugar. That wasn't really Mike's fault again. It was a very slack shot from Aiden, really, you've got to say it. It's, he had so much moon forever as well. He had no reason to do it. He could have left it anywhere within free foot and it would have been fine. So what's Max telling, trying to say to him? Come on then, let's see I get out this one. Is it, or is it going to snooker? Or see, I would, I would personally put one of the, maybe put one of the yellows over near the, the red. Yeah. Make it awkward and try and get the white up beyond the black. Or pump the black up to the yellow. Uh, yeah, I don't see much advantage of that, though. Wow, he's looking at it. If you play that wrong, if, if you knock the black too much, I would leave the, try and leave the white like where the black is, lay, sitting on the black, Yeah. and put the yellow over near... near the. Basically, put the yellow to stop the cannon. Stop that cannon, I think that's it. And, uh, it's and then if you leave the white anywhere around that black vicinity, I think you're going to be doing all right. They can't, both, they can't both play it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. Did you see that TQ? I think they're playing my shot, Peps. Oh, you're yeah. awesome. No, he's underplayed it. Yeah. Uh, wow, he's underplayed his... that. Well, I think he's got to go for it. He? He's got to go for the the wham bam balooba. As Matt Walker would say, all in. Take all care. in, fair award. <laughs> Eggs and bacon. He's going yeah. for Ash Browns. How's your father, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I miss? I miss Matt. Oh, look at that camera shoot from Beer Productions. What's, look he, playing at that. What's he What's all that about? Well, I don't get that in any way. Mm. I don't get that at all. Do you know what I love? The camera action when you can see the players. Mm. And I said to Beer Productions, wouldn't it be nice if we had cameras in the uh, pockets? And the answer was, they haven't got the budget. <laughs> look at that camera action. Fantastic. I just don't see the advantage of that. It's a... I don't know, maybe it's just me. Look at that, that's awesome, isn't it? I think they may be in a bit of trouble after this shot. Yep. Now he's got to go for it because it's Blackpool rules. But the, but the thing is, it, wherever they leave the white at the bottom end, mm. you fancy they got that easy cut, the yellow in the middle, Yeah. to, to start the ball rolling. So what's going to happen? You got any more money games coming up, Mike? Mate, I don't really look for them, buddy. It's, it's when I get players ask me. Fair I, shank. I had him ask me today and I, f I fancied it. Um, so I took the game on. And Fair shank. I'm not playing much, to be honest with you, Pepsi anymore. Wow. You're enjoying life? I love it. But, yeah, I know you do. Don't have time. I, I love, much. I love, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Mike. When you send your photos in on your, on Facebook and yeah. I can see you and I always push the thumb up and... Uh, See how you're doing, and it's great to see that what you're doing well. Little boy's free now, so we got a around in Cornwall as well, so we spend a lot of time there. Yeah, I saw that. That's great. Show. And you're always working, and you enjoy life. That's good. Tough I'm shot. very proud of you. I think he's looking at a cushion first, maybe here to yeah to get the red over the other side. Such a touch. And it's five five, and they're, they're slowing the games down. I thought they were flowing, and this game took about at least ten minutes. Where is he going with this mic? Well, oh, it's cold. It's, the air comes on. I don't see. What, I mean, personally, I'll be I'll be trying to leave it, play the off the cushion beyond the the top red. Yeah. And and hope to land because I don't see what else you've got. If you miss it, you got a foul, fair enough. But what else are they going to do? They got no other shot. Really no, they got they got a full ball snooker. So this is Blackpool rules. So he's going. Oh wow. Well, this this is why he's in England international. Wow. What a shot! He's going to pot it if he gets it. No, he's missed it by a mile. But or did he? Yeah. The only the only advantage to that is he can pop the red, obviously. Oh damn, yeah. But I don't think he can get the yellow out at the same time. Yeah, he can. He'll come off for two rails. Mm. Well, he didn't play it. No, he didn't play it. Yeah. He, now he's only shot. got one shot left now, yeah, isn't he? Snooker all day long. Great shot. 
Yeah, fresh out, Mike. Very clever player, the Joss. He, 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 won't, he ain't no fancy player. He plays a right shot. Brilliant shot. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, it's Max, sorry. It was Max. Brilliant shot. God, no one knocks go. I thought he was a cock act it or cannon it or something. You've been drinking <laughs> too many Budweiser's. No, I'm only on my 15th. I've got to drive. <laughs> 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 Do you know I like the uh, the Green Window Company run by Russell Frame? Oh, lovely guy. Lovely, uh, lovely oh. guy. I must have had at least maybe 20 years on the road with Marshall Frame. I think we're looking at 6-5 to uh, the Spanish boys now. Yeah. Can't see any problems here. Back the best. Got to say, it's only their own fault here. They had the game to, for the taking, really, there. Yeah, this could be a psychological blow. No, no room. chance. Not with Mike and Aiden. They don't care about that. <laughs> we forgot one. <laughs> These lads, they're not like mere mortals like us. They don't care about it. They'll yeah. be missing them, that's fair shake. If it was me, I'll be finished. I'll be going home, get all the taxi and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. He's going he's to take it into the middle and go up to the side. It's a formality, but... Um, Great shot. Oh, job. yeah. Great. They got used to the nap at the table. Again, I wouldn't say they got used to it. They play a nap at their own club, Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find the new blue cloth down at the plaza? Love it. Fantastic. Played it three or four times. Love it. <laughs> I'm still rubbish on it, but I still love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I remember in the day we used to have speed cloth, and that was like playing on ice. Did you ever played on speed cloth? Of course, I played on speed cloth. Pepsi. I'm oh. 31 years old. No, you're not. What's the matter with you? Hughes <laughs> <laughs> had speed cloth for 10, 12, 15 years. Actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, sorry. You've seriously got to lay off a black car on Pepsi. <laughs> I can't have a Pepsi because it's flat today. So you I played Gary Mills on speed cloth. Yeah, I did. I love that speed cloth. What's the score? 21? Eight. Minutes. It was not eight. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot. He's pumped that. Do you know wow. what? He's dead well there. Again, you say what a shot. Absolute formality for Max Norsko. Yeah, okay. Great shot by Josh. 6-5 to the Spanish lad. I played him. Well, he's played that perfect. Now, if he gets a kick on the black, they've all had kicks on the black. Going up top rail with it. Great shot. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined with Mike O'Brien. Uh, um, this game's taking a few twists and turns, really, isn't it? 2-0, 4-2, 5-4, 6-5. And it's took a long time for 6-5. 11 frames. Scott's doubles do I always find take longer anyway. This, this is a big, big frame, I think, for especially for Mike and uh, Hayden. Against the break, if they lose this for 7-5, they're up against it a little bit. Do you think they should play no conferring? Um... Do you prefer that? Right, me personally, I'm a boring player, so I prefer No, preferring. you're not. But You're a good hustler. Listen, I, I, I think <laughs> as long as the rules are agreed beforehand, there's no issue. No. If you agree that you're talking, you agree you're not talking, then Max and Josh, to me, they're always better off talking because they're very different players. Mm. Where maybe Mike and Hayden, similar-ish, very attacking players, so... Did you see that break? I mean, the three reds pumped out the other three reds, and the other three reds stayed on the rail. I don't know if you noticed, but one thing I have noticed is, is Max talks hell of a lot of Josh, which does surprise me. Is it lack of confidence? No, definitely not. Listen, Josh, Josh is a, 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 people say that. He is such a good player, Josh. He is such a really good player. But I think, it's, I think a lot of it is because they're so different, where Max is probably a lot more attacking than Josh. So mm. he, he wants to, you know, 
and I suppose without being no, no offence to Josh, let's be honest, on paper he's a better player. So wow. you can't argue with that, but he's probably just wants to make sure they're thinking on the same page, which you, you can't argue. And maybe that's the incentive he needs to, to, to say to Josh, you know, come with me, we'll do this and do yeah. that, give that confidence. But then yeah. I'd like to think Josh would say if he didn't fancy it, no, I'm not going for this, we'll, we'll save. Mm. I mean, that's, mind you, that's open the span of there, that's not quite like perfect. But but when he breaks, Max has got the best break. And Greg said it, Aiden said it, and probably you all say the same. He's got the best consistent break. Yeah, again, breaks if it works. And you know, I've been there for Max when it's not worked, and his break's been terrible. So or let him down. Mm. But when you it, can't rely on that, then, no, can you? When no. your break works, it's brilliant. I mean, the, all in on the on the red in the middle. Um, wow. Well, if he got it, if he get it, they won the frame. <sighs> What pressure, hold on. I think it's the only shot, really, I do, honestly. I think. This is, look at the camera angle. Steady this is on. massive. Oh, what a shot. He's missed he, it. No, he he's, he's missed it. Well, that, did that turn or not? Yes. I thought he played it. It might have hit a finger mark. Wow. When he first played it, I thought it was perfect. But the camera went in. Did you see what Beard Productions do? They got a camera on wheels, and they pushed it in behind the player. Again, this I, is, I would... Uh, is he going to move the yellow? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's got a plant. Well, personally, I won't be playing that now. I'll be playing the one in the middle now, firstly. Wow. You've, yeah, he's got... He's got You've caught it again, Mike. You, you're seeing things I can't see. I don't I don't see why they would play the one there. Is it the yellow trapped up at the, by, the, by the red then? Is no, they, they, they have a yellow with easy getting behind that one. They? They're going to get that. That's, no, this one? Yeah, but they've got the yellow with... That the, one? The, if the yellow at the top one is going to be the one to get on it. When's he getting? Oh, he's got now, on it now. Yeah, he's going to little stun back here. Play the yellow top of the table. Yeah. And he get on that then. He's got no problem with that. That's that's fine. Okay, so he's he'll take that out and he's going to go and around the back doors. Oh, yeah, what a shot. Come off two cushions or stand across. But he played it at an angle and it went in. That was a hell of a shot. But, yeah, I mean, I'd, be, I'd, I'd have been very surprised if we missed that in fairness to Look at this, he's going to get this put this up. Ain't, this ain't easy, though. I mean, because the, the problem is when, when when they get these two at the top of the way, they come down the bottom of the table, they can't use uh, the left-hand corner pocket. They can, they've can only got that one pocket, so they, this can be a bit You've bit seen it perfect, Mike. It can be a bit tricky. This is all in, Matt Walker would say. Here we go. Oh, he's screwing it across. Oh, he's got to stun it a little bit. And he's just, oh, wow, why? Why, 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 why? Absolute suicide. But I think he might be all right. Back door yeah. off the red. In, in American terms, when you play nine ball, they, they call it back but door. Again, I, I can't. <sighs> I, you know, it's hard to argue because he's a lot better player than me. But why be so gun Why not just off two rails and go for it? Why? You, you, you oh, open, he's you looking disappointed. Look. And he's going he's gonna go off the red, isn't he? But again, Black Boy, if you cover the pocket and Black Boy, is, you've got so many chances to get it out, haven't you? They've got to play the back double, and the back double's not mm. leaving them no part of the top. You're, all you're going to leave is a cannon at best. And he's, he's got a danger of in off. That's not going in off. He never went in off yet. What was that? Wow. What was that? Was that pressure? That could be 7 5. This is a gigantic game. I got a feeling that was pressure. Pressure on whose behalf? Because, you know, Mike's played, maybe, yeah, maybe not the best shot. But the shot before him was the one that killed him. Yeah. You, you know, it's, it's, God, it's look at the camera angle on that. That is awesome. Period Productions have once again have come out with an amazing shooting of the table. That's a brilliant shot. It'll either to the right-hand side, red in the middle to last. Mm. Black in the following corner. 7-5 to Josh and Max, by the looks of it. The atmosphere is fantastic. There's oh, no boy, shouting boy, and boy. screaming. No, you're not going to get that. Not with these boys. You know, Josh is too nice for that. He, he's not a banter lad, is he? Well, he is, but you know, he, it's all the lovely guy. Yeah, I don't do banter with Josh or uh, Max. I, I you don't. Can. Want to Max, you can because he's a, he's. A, he, I like him, but he's too. He loves it. I know. <laughs> I've seen you. You, too. you can't banter I've with Josh. You too. Josh. I've Josh seen you and Max argue. <laughs> no, well, listen, we don't argue. We have banter. Yeah, okay, you, you can't have banter with Josh. He's too nice. He's the nicest guy I ever meet. Yeah, I do like Jesse though. Even time. even if even if I backed against him, which why I'm not having fairness. <laughs> I have tonight. First time I've ever backed against Jossie tonight, actually. Mm. I used to always back him. 
Wow, there you go. Max is uh, on fire. He's pulling his game. And I think playing great. Look at this. Like they're all ready. Come on. But again, I mean, I, I do think the frames, they're winning uh, more, not the best frames, I think, by uh, the Devon boys. You're right. Team Devon. There's a couple of real poor shots. And I, I don't, you know, Aiden's a great, great player, but goes back to it. He had the, the white where he, we overran it in the frame before, which definitely, lost it. Definitely. And that shot, I think, was poor then. So... I, when, when I say poor, I mean, again, the boy's absolutely... There was, league, no, need, there was no need for it, Mike, is there? But, I mean, he's different league to me, so I I'm not trying to say I'm better. But when you're at this level, you've got to play the right shots. And, unfortunately, I think he's let him down the last few frames. So, here we go. Hopefully we... Break. Uh, game number 13. Unlucky for some. Has he made a but yet? lucky for us. Wow. Come on, Team Devon. Wow. Well, you... Oh, I wish both of them all luck, you know. Oh, I haven't got any money on it, you know, at the end of the day. I hope, uh, as long as we see a great game. I fully expect them to take these out here. I think we could lose 7 6. And uh, Mum's in the crowd. Sue oh, King. Oh, that changes it. Wow. So we've got Sue King in, in, in the crowd. Mum, Mike's mum. So yeah, it was nice to see her. I'm going to call it now. It's going to be 8 5 to the team wow. Spenny Boys. Wow. That's not me out. Maybe it's just me. I'm, 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 I'm a little surprised with Reds. But. Oh, he's got to pump this. No, he doesn't. He's dead weight. He's missed it. No, he ain't. He's potted it, but he's not really on nothing. Yeah, the but look at the position. Uh, lucky enough, the best player is playing the shot now. That's yeah. what you want. England international. Oh, 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 Mike Kelly. King. Yeah, he, he oh, look at his cue action. What a camera shot. Do you know what? Mike's I think that's the difference there. And I don't mean it really, but yeah. that there, he, he's not played to be precise. He's just left it in a, he's left him a shot, which yeah. is what you've got to do. Aiden's never missing this, but he's left him in a shot to get on it. Some people are trying to go on the rail to make it precise. He's just left him in a nice position to do it. Great, great shot. And if you had a doubles partner, Mike, in a, in a money match, somebody come up and said, you go and pick a partner. Yeah. Who would you have? Without a shadow of a doubt, uh, I'd play with Adam Robertson. Wow. There's only one player for me. Yeah, I, I'll tell Matt you the reason. Walker. Yeah, oh, listen, Matt's my best buddy. Do you know what I mean? But what I'm saying, a uh, great shot. Yeah, well, Adam, a round of applause. For me that. and Adam's got very similar games. We, we're both I quite Adam. negative, quite boring, and that, that sense. So when I, when I play my games, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really, I don't know if I would really look for it, but if, if it come across me, yes, I would like to play with Adam. Yeah. I'd play with Matt all day long. He's my best buddy. I like Matt. I don't think I don't think you'd be good doubles partners. Do you know why? There'd be too much love and pump in the Mate, game. The, the only reason <laughs> the only reason we wouldn't be best partners is is I'm the complete opposite to his game. I'm boring as Matt, hell, negative. Matt's, me and Matt, Matt's all in. He looks at fist bumps. Let me tell you something. Matt Walker and Pepsi versus Jez Graham and Jamie Graham. We destroyed them with passion. I would thoroughly expect him to destroy them. You, you two are better players than them two. I shake your hand on that boy. Well done. <laughs> you you brag of beating some bang average players, Pepsi. Oh, I love that. That was that we played awesome. Mind together. you, I, did, I, did, I remember a game uh, a few months back. It was um, oh my word! It, it was it you and Matt, or you and Jamie against me and Jamie, or me and Matt? Who was it? Oh, shut up! Was it was it you and Matt? No, I. Oh, it was you and Matt. No. And me and Jamie beat you seven one. I'm not talking to yeah, you. Yeah, no. I thought it was. No. Oh wow! I'm not talking to you. Wow. No. Don't want anything to do Well, listen, again, I mean, it's one of them. I'm, I'm a little bit gutted <laughs> that you won one frame, but... Shut up. Actually, yes, it was. It was 7-1. Oh, yeah. I think it was for a little 10 or a 20, I think. No, it was, it was 25 pound. It was 25 It was, pound. wasn't it? You played awesome. I'm winning 25 pound from a man who come over from Dubai. <laughs> means so much more. <laughs> you were crazy. And me and Matt's going, yeah, hang in there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hang in there. Six one down, hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the fucking black mat. <laughs> it was awesome. That was a good day. Try and get some updates on the Dean Lapham and um, Ben score. Oh, 11-4 to the Dean Lapham. 11-4 is a runaway steam train. Oh, buzzing. Dean's a brilliant lad. Lovely guy. So happy. Is that the one with the white legs? No, they're not white. I'd say they're they're definitely paler than white. <laughs> okay. You right. need about you need about there an hour are. or two on a sunbed to to get to white. Okay. Well, is he opening the black here off the red? I yes. did. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you're aware. There was he, Dean Lapper actually went into a sunbed shop in Bristol a few, <laughs> a few months back, and uh, and he tried to get six minutes, and they kicked him out. <laughs> they were worried about his health. <laughs> oh, it's all 
crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going on, but there we go. You should come come out to the Middle East. See, so me now. I'm, I'm getting this blackout now. Yeah. Because they've got the two reds in the middle. I'm following through off that left hand middle. I'm it's only one trap. You know, only one trap with a red, isn't it? Listen, with Mike and Aiden, it don't matter who you get on. That red in the corner, sorry, the red on the middle rail, yeah. is not an issue. Get the blackout now. Get this clearance going. Game over. God, you're reading it very well. I wouldn't play the shot myself because I'm not very good, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what they're thinking about. Follow this through. Disturb the black. Hang on a second. The, the cue ball is in the wrong area. No, it's not. It's perfect. No, I meant on the screen. Oh, they're doing it as well. Look, what did I tell you? Yeah, Patsy? what a shot. Michael oh, Bride's no, called it. No, he's unlucky. He's no, unlucky. King and that should have the cue ball over there. He's, he's not on nothing. Shouldn't he? Oh, Unless he can get that middle red. He's not on it. He's on it. Aiden's looking. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. You called it perfect, Mike. I can see a good shot, mate. I just can't play a good shot, Pepsi. That was awesome. That was <laughs> awesome. Do you know what I really miss? I miss our Super League days. You know that? We we'll moved back to Plymouth then. No. Who made you move to Dubai? Yeah. Is I your love you. Is your missus then earning 250 grand a year? Yeah. Tax free? Wow. Yeah. Well, that's oh, a good show. Yeah, she's doing well. Again, it goes back to it. Why? She's just, just big money. Just land on the, the red. Why? Oh, is a backdoor double? Out? Take yeah, care. Why play to get out? Why not just land on it? <laughs> <laughs> Mike's frustrated. Look at this. He's going in all in on the double. He, he's got no choice, is he? He's got to. Tap it. Don't hit it. No, he's you've got, got it. to hit it. You, you had to hit it. He missed it quite well, though, in fairness. But again, it, it, I don't get... Maybe, maybe they're talking together. Maybe, um, you know, maybe I'm putting too much blame on him. But I don't get... They're two of the best potters in this club. Why not mm. back your arm, land on it? I think you've got a fair point there. Oh, I can't see again. I did a when I was back last year. I did a show with Mick Hill up in Bournemouth, and um, I was very honoured to to go up with um, Jason Owing, uh, Break Hughes, and uh, I was invited to go up and uh, meet Mick Hill and do a show with him. And I loved it, meeting new people. And uh, I was up there with um, Debbie, the, the lady to two times world champion, and I had an evening with Mick Hill. And they upset. I mean, in Bournemouth, they love their pool. Yeah, are they are they good players up there, or um, no, not good players, but average players. But what I'm explaining is, it's good to go out and, and meet new people. Mm. I've never been to Bournemouth, so he's snookering behind the yellow yeah. formality. But I'm surprised on that, Mike, because. That's a good sneaker. I'm not surprised in any way. If you need shot to play. I thought they might run out. Um, no, I wouldn't have gone out there. No, I wouldn't have. Mm. So will he pot it? No chance. Uh, no, not from that angle. He's got to come in. Oh, he's no, he ain't even going to hit the no. ball. Wow. He's not even going to hit it. I can see that from here. Wow. He, he, he's queuing over too much to the to the right. I think he needs to turn something around here, then, mate. I think it's... They could we'll start walking away with it. You can't get away with shots again against these boys. So this is frame fourteen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Possible thirty five on the on the on the cards. Perfect shot there, lovely ball. Great shot. Consistent Josh is tonight. Listen, mate, he's not consistent tonight. The man is looking this time after time. The sooner this man's name get around, the better. He is a, an incredible player. Okay. I've seen him play. I've seen him in action. Have you ever seen him lose? I've oh, never have. Every, um, every single match I've ever played, he's won, so you can never yeah, see him lose. Yeah, he's brilliant. I've had a bit of time yeah. with him today, and he's very mellow chap. I'll, I'll be honest with you. He's you don't get much nicer, mate. He's lovely, lovely nice. guy. I've met some crazy pool players in my time. I've met some lovely ones. I remember playing one guy. He said, I did a foul. I'm not even at the table. He called a time shot foul on me. What was all that about? It's <laughs> crazy. I said, I'm not at the He said, foul. I said, what for? He said, you, you've taken too long at the table. I said, I'm coming to the table now. Who was that? Oh, it was years ago. Bloody hell, I was an idiot. I can't remember. I met some people, so many crazy people. So here we go. Max. This, this surprised me. I thought this would have been the last ball. 
to just to land on the plaque. So they, yeah, you're right, Mike. Oh, he's going to use the, the. Yeah, but again, even this, this, this does certainly things could start going wrong now. I mean, that that yellow on that black over there, them two at the bottom mm. half, mm. leave them to last. That's that's to land you on the black. This, do you know, it wouldn't surprise me if something goes wrong here. He's going to screw back. He's messed it. No, he's not. Stop. What are you watching, Pepsi? No. Oh, okay, he's landed that perfect. He's just at the general. I thought he was going to come off the red and go in off. He's played an absolute great shot there, in fairness. Yeah. That's made me look a bit silly with my, uh, my thoughts here. <laughs> he's sort of like, he's just going gun-ho in there, isn't he? Max has just got to make sure he gets enough angle on it. So that's a perfect position for Max. There you go. Perfect. Can't go wrong with that. Absolute perfect. Great shot. So fully expect to be 8-6. Josh has played... Great shot. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Whoa, did you see the spin off the wall? Mm. That could have been dangerous in beyond the red. Yep. No, he's well clear of that. You better to be over it and under it, that shot like that. Yeah. So there you go, Max is at the table. One of the greatest uh, Eight, six, money nine. players so far. So welcome back. I'm with uh, Michael Bryan. Great honour to be with him. So we just seen some of the sponsors of um, Beard Productions: the Green Window Company by Russell Frame and All Stars and Back uh, Back the Best. So yeah, we do our little horse run. When you see the advert, we pretend to be on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dry break, is it? Wow. The well, desert break yeah. has come in, and Josh is running around well, with... Sassy Max. Oh, sorry, it's <laughs> Max and Josh are running around with a 9-6 coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's shut over day. Look at that. They're, they're already on the reds. And I said that in the last frame, wasn't it? It's a big old break. When you, when, you, when you lose a frame, you probably should have won. Yeah. When you break dry, it's your reds. You need to start turning something around here to keep in this... Five thousand pound in the pot. The backers are going to all be happy for Max That's and lovely, Josh. Lovely shot. And all the backers for Aiden and Mike. I'm going to be very concerned at this stage because it's going to go nine six to Max. So uh, a lot of pressure on Mike to come back. So Mike's off. They'll be back in a minute. So he's, he's looking pretty good. He's he, he's doing well. This is a great opportunity to, to she just play a simple shot and just take out a nine six. But he's. He's thinking about this. He might run away up the table. So he's got to roll it in dead weight. Yeah, he's done that okay. Now he's in a bit of trouble. Unless he's playing the plant and hoping that the the, the top red with them two together is going to hit the yellow. Oh, he's not going to play it yet. Oh, he's going for the long red. <sighs> oh, yeah, he's just come off. He's just realised this is a risky shot. This is a very risky shot to take the red on down the rail. Yeah, so he's gone to the other red. He don't want to take give the king and uh, Aiden any chance. So there you go. He's played that supreme, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. What a shot. You might have to make the plant, but it was a good attempt to move them, dislodge them, get a portable position. I'm really, really, it's been a fantastic year here at All Stars. What a shot he's, Josh has pulled out there. <gasps> and he's just, just might be on it. Michael Bryan's just come back and uh, 
what's happened there, Mike? He's he's had a plant and he's left it a bit late and he's crashed into it like a brake shot. And um, this is where he's ended up. Snookered on the on the red. Right, it's not snookered. He's got the double, isn't he? Play the double on the other. Well, what I right. meant is the yeah. from run to the other. Who shot is it? Is it Max or John? Yeah, it's um, Max's. I said it before. He's one of the best double players I've seen. Do you know what? He's got a 100% record. I think he's looking at the off the cushion red onto the black, is he? Is that right? A little bit. Well, obviously, if he's looking at that, the double can't go. Wow. So I think he's going cushion red, black to the red in the middle, which is... Wow. Mike, how, how did you see that? No, no, I didn't see it. Max played it. I've That's it. incredible. This is the biggest turning point in the game. You miss? Wow. 8-7. Oh, I, oh, I wouldn't say 8-7. I won't be 100% confident they're taking these out. The atmosphere is building in the uh, All Stars here in Exeter. I reckon there must be at least 100 people here. 11, oh, 11 6 now with Dean Lapham and Ben Smith. Ben's on a bit of a. You've wow. caught it. Wow, You've caught it. Wow. wow. You caught it, Mike. He got very lucky, don't get me wrong, but he's. Uh, that has got to be. Ladies, I hope we see the replay on that. What an effort. I mean, I think he. Well, did he go? I'll say he got lucky. Maybe he went to come off the other red. I don't know. I thought you called it. Well, I called the shot, but I thought he was going to go cushion red, black onto the red. I didn't think he was going to hit the other red first. But. Well, that's got to be the shot of the champion, uh, the shot of the money match today. It wouldn't surprise me if we see these two pull away now. Let's hope we can see the replay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll, see it. we'll see it after the frame. We might do with the yeah. productions. Hopefully, that's got to be the greatest shot today. Not while they're playing at the minute. Is he got it? Lovely He's missed it. Wow, that's incredible. Did he have a kick, Mike? No, I don't think he did. No, he just think he a just, mark. No, that's incredible. I'm a bit nervous watching this. Seriously, guys. I guaranteed right. a 9 6. Y you need to, whoever's playing, you need to lay a good snooker here. Why is he, why is he snookering? Why you got I... to snooker. Got to snooker there. Blackboard rules you, Wally. Of course you have. You can pot this. Well, uh, again, you, you, you've gone off two cushions and you hope of a bit of luck. He's, he's actually made a phenomenal snooker here. And um, obviously, being Blackboard, you have to make a valid attempt to. Pod it. Wow. He's, he's only got the two cushion row, hasn't he? He's got to go for two cushions and, and go for it. This is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Live around the world. <laughs> and seven times for the IPA, the one and only Showtime Fizzing Time. That is my highlight of my career. Well, I don't, I've got a few major Ooh. highlights. Wow. He's really going I said it. that. I said that he could pot it. Yeah, you, you're never potting it. Never. Yes. No, you're not. No, you're not. He's hit it. He's hit it, yeah. Fair play, he's hit it. Great shot. But now, you know, they, they can get me controlling it. They can get the bag. To me now, I'll be playing the pot. Cushion, red. Get the bag. And then lay a good snooker. So you're going to go off the cushion? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Play the yellow. Cushion yeah. first, red. Even if they pot the yellow, at least they're putting the red a bit more safer. If you lay a snooker now, mm -hmm. just a basic snooker, and, it, and they hit it, they're going to probably pot it. Yeah, yeah, fair shout. It's the replay, ladies and gentlemen. The best shot of today. Okay, I will go down and say that's the luckiest shot of the day. Well, you, you say lucky. He was iron up. Did he, did he go for it? I don't know. If he went right. for it, it's a great shot. Thank you to Beard Productions for the replay. I hope you enjoyed the shot of the, champ uh, shot of the money match great, so far. Great, great, great shot. Do you know what? I enjoy that action replay. Oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. That was awesome because I didn't realise the black came off the the red to go into the red. Mm. Now, why are they taking their time discussing it? Get down and play it. No, no, I like this. You got to, you got to talk about shots. When you, when you, you know, is everybody? What's he playing? doing? That's the right shot. No. Off, for, off for two rails, land the way up top. Hundred percent. He's underplayed it. He's played it absolutely perfect. What <sighs> game are you watching, Pepsi? What a fantastic shot. Okay, then. <laughs> great, great shot there. Boy, a, yeah. Do you know what? We're like Laura and Hardy, you and me. <laughs> yeah. We make a good team. <laughs> well, I'd say I'll make a team. <laughs> <laughs> you do make a good captain. I will give you that. We won everything in Super League. Well, with the team we had, it wasn't very hard, was it? We didn't have to beat many players. Oh, I was proud to play with you, Mike. It was brilliant. 
I'm trying to find the updates on the George and Seb web score, but I don't seem to find it. Anyone got any? Hang on a second. This is going in. That I sense not. it. That I sense it. I not. sense it. It's fouled it. Yes. <sighs> fouled it. Wow. Live around the world. Yeah. So, so this is where the, the trick we're now in it. You try and put the red safe. Oh, we've got some scores coming in. What's the scores, Mike? Uh, I thought, well, our last scene with Dean Lapham, he was 11 6 up. God, oh, it's cold in here. It's like a fridge. They got the air con in here. I think it's now, it's awkward now. See, I would, I would, probably, I would probably try and keep the red up here. Play, play a safety to keep the red out. Cause really? Yeah, cause if you pot it. Why is he trying to pick the white up? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Are but you allowed to? Yeah, yeah it's black one, they can do what they want. But what is he doing? Well, they have to. Oh, no, I like this, actually. Is no. He, no, yellow off the cushion, bring your red out into play. Oh, no, he's potted it. Wow. Oh, he's going for it. Clearance on. No way, Mike. No way. Right. I can't see it. Right. What's he done, Mike? Are you right? You should have brought the red out. Um. Look at the camera angle on that. I might have uh, Aidan playing that. We've got some great camera crew here today. This is massive. Good job, Mike's playing this. I'm getting really. There you go. That's why I said it's massive because he's. Oh, it's come out. Did you see it curl out? It must have hit some finger marks because it was going on the rail and it's just come out enough. He's got to play the top yellow to come across, is not he? Is that middle yeah. with the one, the one, the black? Yeah, it's, it's now a big frame, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? In practice, they're taking these out all the time. So. The atmosphere is building on the other table, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Oh, Mike wants the ball there. Aiden's going, no, I'm going to get it somewhere else. Again, I'll go back to it. Just, just leave them a shot. Just keep leaving them shots. They will make them. Don't try nothing too silly. He's not looking for a sneaker, surely. No, you can't. You can't. You, you can't. can't. Seriously. This is massive. It's a massive frame. If, I think if they lose this, they could be in a bit of trouble. No. No. Don't, don't go that way. Even Mike said, "Don't go that way." No. This is. This is. I'm so. I'm shaking, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, I'm frozen. <laughs> Look at this. This is going to be the best shot. He's got to pot this. If he misses it, he's playing it hard, isn't he? He's suicidal. He. It's got a bounce. It's got a bounce. Wow, he's just done it. Would you put Mike King in now to take that ball down that rail? Well, Mike King don't miss, so Mike King won't even touch the sides. Look That's at him go. England what? international. Yeah, going he has on. got a bit of a safe in it here because when he's playing go the on. shot, he's going to snooker him. I mean, yeah, they've got an, an easy hit up and down. He ain't going to snooker him. He's screwing no, no. it back. Yeah, yes, but he's going to screw back. But what I'm saying is, he ain't, they're not going to have... Yeah, he's never missed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow! See what I mean? What I'm saying is, he, he had the snooker there anyway, didn't he? So, either Did way... Did he? Yeah, well, Peps, can you see it? Yeah, I can <laughs> see it, but yeah, but he, could he go down off for the rail yeah, and pot it? that's what I said. He could go off the rail and pot it, yeah. but he still had that semi-safety net of a, yeah, okay. of a snooker. Yeah, uh, fair shake. you get this one out as well. Great shot. Wow. Oh, oh that's the yeah. best kiss of today. That's perfect. Like I've said, the last few frames, these two players are such great partners. Just let them back their arm. Let them go. For Eight, these. seven. Stop, stop trying to be too precise. What's Mike doing? He's following it through. Yellow in the top bag. Perfect. No, it's not perfect. This is massive. He's fine. He was putting top spin on it, and it's come out more than what he thought. Yeah, I agree with that, but he'll be fine. You Aiden. agree with me? Aiden, don't miss his. <laughs> Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Live around the world. Michael Bryan agrees with me. This is like a black office spot for Adrian Stuger, isn't it? He would not miss this. It wouldn't even touch his eyes. Look at this cue action. What was that? That was the best shot, ladies and gentlemen. He's pumped the crowd. He was never missing it. He's too good at That's the best shot I've seen him play today. That was awesome. Perfect. Do you know what? I'm getting excited. One three minutes. Again, like I said to you, let them back their arm. They yeah. don't miss pots. Stop You've... worrying about being too precise. You're they right. Do not miss
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news here at the All Stars. There's going to be a five minute break. We are joining the commentary with Mike O'Brien and Pepsi very shortly. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Michael Bryan will be back shortly. And uh, Aidan just came in and spoken to us. And uh, they're playing with fantastic confidence, and we've given them a little bit of support. And as you can see, 
Aiden, the Pepsi's apprentice, is back on form. He just needed a bit of uh, confidence in what he's doing. And they're bringing it back to eight each. What a fantastic game. And uh, here we go. Mike King to pot the black. And he's... Oh, did Aiden, ladies and gentlemen, just come in and said, Pats. He just needed a bit of confidence and, it, and it's worked. Look at it. They don't know where they are, look. He's laughing. I just basically said to him, when you go out there, just enjoy it. And look at him laughing and he's cheering his out, you know, away. So, ladies and gentlemen, 8-8. Eight, eight. What a fantastic game. £5,000 in the pot. And on the other game, 11-6. It's all been fantastic day to day. Brought to you by Beer Productions All-Stars. Mike King, tournament director. Well, uh, money director. And uh, your commentary team where myself, Michael Bryan. What a break. And um, Greg Batten, we, we, we've had a fantastic day. Thank you very much for joining us. He's looking at reds, going all in on reds. So the black's tied up with the yellow. Look at the confidence. Wow, he's going to try and get the black out already. First shot off the red, off the top, top, top rail. <laughs> Lots of confidence now. Look at that. Watch the black come out on this shot. Wow, he missed it. He's got the black out. That's incredible. He's happy. They're playing with confidence now. Black is potable to the middle, left middle. Look at that. And Pepsi talk. Turn the game around. Look, oh, he's he's pumped. The adrenaline's pumped. Mike will pot this into the middle, hopefully. Where's he going with this? Wow, that's why he's in England international, ladies and gentlemen. He's just pumped that with a nice angle. So he's going to screw back to the blue spot on the snooker table. So here we go. Oh, he's going to crash into the yellow. He's just looked at it. These boys are playing with so much confidence. Look at the screw back on this. What a shot. That's all right, Mike. We'll pull this out. Look at the confidence. 9-8. This could be a 9-8. They should have been 9-6 down. Wow. Look at the camera angle. No. No, no, no. Why, Mike? He twitched it. Twitched it. I don't know if he moved. But what a result that was if that red went in. Gotta play it in that. And that's the first ball I think Mike's missed so far. Max is um, in, in, in fantastic form as well. Look at John. They're, they're doing really well. Great money players, both of them. Full credit to them. The Southwest should be very proud of these players. They're, they're, they're giving out everything 10,000, 20,000, 40,000. I mean, it's just ridiculous. What a shot by Josh. He's, he's given him the angle to bring out the two yellows. A simple shot like that makes it look so easy. He's pulled, 
perfect. He's got one in the middle. Take care. Nine eight, Josh. And Max, look at that. All because Josh played one shot. And like Michael Brown said, he's underrated. And the answer is, he's going to be very rated after this game. Look at that. Does the black go past, or will they play the black in the middle? Oh, it doesn't go past, so he's got to play the black into the middle. Yeah, he's going to run down and play in the middle after this shot. So it's perfect. All because of that one red miss. Incredible. This had to be a great, great clearance. Well done. Full credit. Now the pump's coming on. They know they're in a game. Nine eight. 5,000 in the pot. Backers want everybody to win, obviously. They want their players to win. So here we go. Just the break. That was a soft break. Didn't, didn't connect right. So Mike's gonna go. Who's there? Aiden gonna go? Yeah. Aiden's gonna go in on reds. Now we just saw dot to dot just now, and it all got messed up. This is putting pressure on Mike, but he's jabbing down. He's got to get this. Oh, what perfect. Oh, he's overrun it. That's what I mean. Oh, he's just stopped in the nick of time. Like I said, he's under pressure, jabbing down on the ball. But he's played that perfect. He's got away with that. The atmosphere, I would estimate about 100 people plus here today. Throughout the day, I would say around about 500 people plus, people coming and going. Look at the view on that beer production uh, camera. So if just rode on a fraction, he had nowhere to go. So here we go, Aiden's. What's he doing? Wow, he punched it over. Maybe he didn't have the angle to screw it across. So this is the clinical shot now for 9-9. Nine nine. Wow, he's, he's, he's got to get this absolutely 100% right. Why aren't they taking the top ball and work their way down? I'm seeing something I haven't seen. It. So this is this is fraught with danger. If he doesn't connect right, he's going nowhere. He's done it. He's hit the black. That has to be the best shot Mike's pulled out today. Because if he didn't get that right, it was going nowhere. Fraught with danger. Look at this. Aiden's buzzing. What a shot. Wow, he's overran it. Oh, he's just got it. Wow, they did. I thought he got in behind the other. Now, Mike missed an easier shot than this just now. Will he even pop this? And the answer is yes. 9-9, nine, nine. what a cracker. This is going to be one of the thrilling games today. 9-9, nine, nine. the biggest pot today, 5,000. Look at the camera and go, oh, he's played perfection. Wow, round of applause. The atmosphere is building, ladies and gentlemen. So it's Aiden's break, Mike.
Welcome back. So here we go. Frame 19, possible 35. 5,000 in the pot. Silly mistakes, great shots. Has all been put in. And what a break from Aiden. But is it dry? Wow, it's a dry break. Everything moved. Our favourite reds. Is the black to move out? Oh, he's going. Is he going yellows? Yeah, he's going yellows. Wow. No, he's not. He's going to try and move the black. To, oh, I thought he was going to move the black for a shot. They're very attacking players. They're fearless. Let's just go all in. Yeah, reds. So they're planning on mi moving the red and the black straight away, unless that red goes down. Oh, he's done it now for a shot. Wow. Not hard enough. Wow, it turned out perfect. There's a lot of motion on this frame. 10-9. Wow, he's... He, he needed that off and the, the way he didn't flow through it enough with the cue action to hit it hard enough to bring the red into the middle so he's gonna have to come off the rail and then bang into the red yeah yeah he's looked at it so it's josh's turn he it's a tough shot this one he's got to get it perfect Great camera action. He's missed it. He missed it before. You could see his cue action when he cued it up. He just moved his cue action at the back. And that's why it wobbled. So is this the turning point of the game? So here we go. So he's just knocked the red out of the way. Opened the door. Wow, he tried to open two doors. That was a great shot if he knocked into the yellow and banged it over a bit. The eight balls. The eight balls uh, all waiting to go in. Off the red. So here we go. He's going to play this. to get this right so he's going to go off the rail and hit in the red though this has to be precise is that i don't know if that's precise wow i don't think this goes in i don't think he's going to move it no you can't move it he hasn't come enough he had to be spot on Wow, he's got to get this right. This is a fantastic shot if he gets this. Because he's, he's really hesitating. He's pumped. Yeah, he's looking at this. He didn't come right because the cube was going to be lost. Oh, tight. Wow, there's the white. I did say, ladies and gentlemen, that he didn't come out of that well. But he got away with it. He's had a bit of, a, bit of luck there. As you could see when he's jerking the cue action up, he's going to run away with the white. So Mike, England International, tremendous prayer, 
Had to pull out a fantastic shot. And has he overran it? He's overran it. It's going in the cue ball. It's going. I can't see. Oh, he just made it. Now, can he play a skill shot? I don't know. But I think he might be over it. Uh, he might be on that yellow. I can't see with the camera angle. Like, yes, he's all on it. Who's playing the shot now? I'm getting pumped up here. Aiden, this is going to be the best shot you've played today. You have to bang this in as a break shot and uh, get down for the yellow. So here we go. Perfect cue action required. Fantastic camera angle. So here we go. That is done it. That is done it. That was the best shot Hayden has played today. He was under tremendous pressure at nine each, five thousand pound in the pot, and he had to pull out one of the best shots, and he's just pulled out his best shot today. Nine each to go ten. Formality. Screw back. Where's he going with the white? What was that? It's getting emotional. So on an American table, no problem. But on an English pool table, kick. Is it going in? Hold tight. I told you. You can't play those shots. You've got to get closer to the white, uh, to the eight ball. I said it was emotional. Because you've got to cue that well. I don't understand why he cued it so hard. But it was positioned right up the top of the table. This is uh, a let off the hook. This is turning out to be one of the best games today. <laughs> there we go. He's got. Oh, he's just done it. He's just got it. I thought it stopped. The cue ball stopped, and it wouldn't allow him to take it up to the corner. Max at the table, one of the best money players, I still say. In my opinion, he is one of the best. And a gentleman with it. He's come away. Oh, it went in. I thought it was coming away. So here we go. Josh is a good player, so he should be fine. He's missed it. He's missed it. He's had a kick. He, he. Unbelievable. The atmosphere is going crazy on the other table, and that might have put him off. But what Josh did was he, he sliced it down with side or... Wow, you can't do that. That's the, the biggest let off in the game. It might have been pressure. I'm not too sure. It'd be nice to see a replay. Oh, he's upset on that. It'd be nice to see a replay of that last red. If we can. Let's see if he cued it. Wow. Here we go, the reaction replay. What... Oh, we went back on, on the wrong shot, but uh, what a shot this is from Aiden. Look at that. That is his best shot for today. Perhaps he's apprentice. So here we go. We're back on the uh, game now. It's Josh and uh, Max to break and take care. Just one tricky red. It's been a fantastic game. It's been a fantastic game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the show. Brought to you live around the world by Beer Productions. They've put in a tremendous effort. I was here at half past ten today. And uh, we've been here 12 hours and counting. So, might be here for 17 hours, I think. Been a fantastic day, and it's a great honour to be here. And the standard has been phenomenal. I've seen a lot of pool over forty years of, uh, sorry, thirty-five years of playing pool, and this is a very emotional game. The youngsters today, incredible. Look at this. 
Josh has got to get this to pinfall position. He needs it. Spot on here. Look at the cue action. Yeah. Where, hang on a second. Does that red go past the yellow? Wow. Everybody's looking. Aiden's looking. The pressure's on. Oh, it must do. No, maybe not. Wow, he's got to cue this. And the answer is no, it wasn't. It wasn't, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think it was. So it's one shot away now. For Aiden, he's, he's asking, whose shot is it? To Mike. He says, you go. So they need to kiss this yellow out. So they need an angle. Yeah, he's just worked it out. He's let Mike go in. Wow. He wasn't confident in getting the angle. No, that's not the angle either. Michael Bryan's come back, ladies and gentlemen. He's come back. Michael Bryan. He's missed it. It's in off. It's in off. It's going. It's just... Michael Bryan, welcome back. I had to come back to the table. I had a message from uh, Jack Vivian, a good friend of mine, saying it's, uh, it's gone a bit boring on the old commentary without me here. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I got you know where it is. We'll say one for hopefully Jack's uh, Jack's daughter's in hospital, so hopefully she's she's better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wish you all the best, Jack. Lovely guy, Jack. Very good player. Yeah, I think he was supposed to play tonight. Actually, I think um, he's supposed to be Jamie Murray. I'll, I'll actually have, well try and find out what actually happened with that. Sorry, game. it's been a bit boring, Jack, but uh, I, I'm just <laughs> saying that I see it. Well, the exact words were plea. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll read it out to you. Oh, I hope it's nice. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't swear. On you. Please get back on the commentary, mate. Got my TV on mute at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's all right then. I thought it was Pepsi's gone nightmare. No, no, he loves you, mate. That's okay. Yeah, uh, I wish you all the best out there, Jack. Um, no, he's not playing. No, he. No, uh, I meant with the door. Oh, oh, yeah, definitely yeah, with his little girl. I don't think it's nothing too bad. I, I think she's okay. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. So yes. What a shot. That's the best shot so far. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's us. Sorry. Hang on a second. We can't be biased. Come on. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm a biased commentator. <laughs> okay. That. Uh, watch this reduction. Oh, we're going back. To, uh, this is the Aiden greatest shot. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Really this, we're this. back to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why Aiden is Pepsi's apprentice. And Mike King, England international. Pepsi, I've said it before. I say it again. They don't miss pots. Come Simple on. as that. They don't miss pots in open play. Do you see the boxing going Pepsi, on? I've, I've been on for a few frames. Obviously, I was getting a drink and going yep. to the toilet. Um, what, what's happened? Um, somebody <laughs> said that was a couple of real bad misses from the... Oh, my word. Uh, you've never seen anything like it. I, I, I'm, I'm predicting the game before it's even happened. Who, who, what, 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 Josh what? missed a straight red. To go. Yeah, really? yeah. Wow. He, missed, he missed a straight red. Max... Um, I'm surprised at Josh. He didn't really miss many balls. They they both missed. It, it's incredible in the last frame. My, um, um it was nine six, wasn't it? They were oh enough no. Um yeah. Was it was it nine six or nine seven? Nine nine. No, it was eight six. I thought it was nine. No, I'm not too sure. All right, okay. Oh, it's so eight six then. So yeah, I mean, eight, 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 it was eight six when you went. A phenomenal turnaround. <sighs> yeah, but Mike, they they missed big chances. But then, uh, so so did you know? So did Hayden and Mike Hardy before. So yeah, these are the frames now. It's a, it's a frame. The next frame or two, when, when you're eleven on up, these are the next frame or two that really really make a difference. Who broke first in this game? Was it uh, was it Max or was it great? Mike? Show. Well, what's the odds? Uh, it's the twentieth. So who broke first? You know, Pepsi. Mike. Did. Mike, right, yeah. if right. So it's Mike's break first then. Hang on, twenty. Oh, Mike and Aiden, sorry, Mike. Hang on. Let's have a reaction replay. Oh, we're going back to the best shot. I didn't see this shot. What, what? It was the best shot I've seen from Aiden. Watch this. Wow. Oh, again, it's a pot you fully expect Aiden to get. But Aiden. then, then, then Hayden's he missed pass. the black ball down on the red. Who did? Um, Mike, uh, Mike left the cue ball there and Aiden potted. That's a nice shot. That's a very good pot by Mike King, yeah? Missed the black. Mike King, with us. It's no um, no gimmies here, but they've just gone favourites. You've got to say for this frame with that pot. That's a fantastic pot. But welcome back, Mike. I was getting bored, by the way. No problems, buddy. I was listening to myself. 
I usually talk to myself, you know. The problem is you go to and you get a drink the best, before you know what you're He's the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gary Bill <laughs> said he wasn't. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Do you know what? I love Gary Mills. The bit. I think he's seeing something we're not here, so he's going. Oh, he's what going to get the bag. Well, that's a fantastic shot. Who's that? Mike King. What, uh, Hayden, sorry. What a fantastic shot that is. Well, what planet are we on? I thought he was on yellows. No, they're definitely reds, mate. That's a friendly uh, well effort. Okay. Again, you'll see a Max trying uh, <sighs> to put the old authority, I think, on the, on the lever here, trying to. Say what to do. Well, there you go. It's actually a big frame. Would well, you know? Will it be biased or not? It's no. a big frame for Why Max not? and um, for Max and Josh because no. being free down. I, I made it very clear that I got no money on it. I, I've oh, no, I've got. I'll be honest. Yeah, I have actually got a very small amount, but it's more the fact out of loyalty. Do you know, I've got a lot of time for Max and, and even more yeah. time for Josh. He's a lovely, lovely guy. So I've got no. I'm. I'm very proud to say that. Isn't I? Yeah. Oh. Who, who played that? Oh, I'm losing the plot here. That, that was Mike who played that. Bit of a, I suppose, a bit of a loose one, really. I don't see. It's speeding up. Have you noticed that? Wow. The pool is speeding up. What a shot! This he's is done why, it. Yeah, this is why what he's played then was a was a was a poor shot. When you're playing back ball, he's left them a real, an easy cut. Yeah. And to any way to smash into them. How is it? All the pots are gone to the table, and there's only six yellows on the table. Incredible. Look at this. Very good effort. Dean Lapham, 12 8 up, as we can see in the background. That's incredible. Good bit of a turnaround there. What's that? He's oh, missed it. No, he's covered the bag, Pepsi. How can you cover the bag? Well, a, well in fairness, he hasn't actually covered it the best, but he's covered it. You can't, surely you can't do that against his. Okay, fair can. enough. I mean, personally, I would look at taking that red to cover this bag now. Yeah, like you called it. You've called it. I think I see only through shot. What a shot. Ah, he's played it too well. He's potted it. It's a shame, really. He's still got another two to come down to cover the black. I say it's a shame. Where was he gone for? Oh, maybe he's gone for it. Maybe I'm underestimating him. No, I think he must have gone for the bag, did he? Yes. Wow. Oh, Mike, what a shot that is. This has got to be the best clearance all in. The problem you've got here now is Go they, on, can't, head, they can't do nothing with this white because it's going to hit the, the, the yellow, I think. I think it goes back to it. Just, just stun across, back your arm, leave mm. the weight on the cushion, let Mike take his pot on. You're right. You try and get too cute, it's going to go wrong. And he's, and the first two games when they went back after the break, they were mm. flowing with confidence. They're, they're the confident. They've got, they've got no I problems. said, I said when, 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 to the fans that um, uh, <coughs> Aiden came in for a bit of confidence boost and he's yep. gone out there and gave him the, the, the magic word. Oh no, that's a disaster. Absolute disaster. It's a shame for Aiden there, really. Yeah. He's... Again, it, it goes it goes back to what I said. You're trying to get too cute. Just just let him back his arm. Let him play the shot. It's, it's, he's not going to miss. He's got it. He's he... put it. Oh, I thought he potted it. That was incredible. Perhaps again, I, I don't see what, what you're watching here, buddy. I think you're watching a different one to me, but not a problem, buddy. Not a problem. <laughs> That's why we get on so far. <laughs> I love you, mate. I love you, mate. <laughs> But you do make me laugh. <laughs> That's why they want entertainment back. The red is at the middle of the cushion, <laughs> and you said he potted it. <laughs> You're a legend, Pepsi, an absolute legend. Anyway. Live around the world. Seven times for the IPA. Seven. Started Seven the opening time. sire and really. Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> you choked <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, what's he going? Wow. This is massive, Mike. Yeah. Can he snooker being in there? No, uh, he's got no, to... I think Josh needs to find something at the minute. He's um, he's looking a bit nervous the last few frames. Do you know what? I got a feeling the pressure is on. Greg Batten has put a lot of damage. I don't think these, like I said before, I don't think a lot of these plaids do. I mean, I... Clever, clever shot by Max L, but is he I don't think it is. Wow, he's like, oh, that's an unlucky kiss here. I don't think it is. This is it. Yeah. Again, you know, if he's on it, Hayden, I don't think he miss it. Simple as that. He's he's such a such a good player. This is fantastic. Look at it. Go go on. He's going to pop this, isn't he? Swing around. I just had a couple of messages. Um, go ahead. From Phil Law. Hi, mate. Is Pepsi on crack? 
Um, <laughs> Pepsi's on Coke. <laughs> it's, very, it's very hard to disagree with him there, Pepsi. I don't give a mate. Oh, oh, he's done it. I told you. Oh, he's just said, no. Nah. Again, it, it, it's Pepsi on Coke. I know he's missed it, <laughs> but that's such a good shot because yeah. if you look at now, even if he snooker him out, they've got, where, where, no matter what cushion they come <laughs> off, they've got a chance of putting it. They've got a fantastic chance of getting this ball out. Mm. Great, great shot. Really good shot. I'm laughing because uh, I'm not, I've never never done all that stuff. Well, let's not talk about that anymore. Yeah, I'm not that, quite that way inclined, we're but it's just comical. We d- we're not like that. We're just, we're, we're just say how oh, we see it and go with the flow. I don't think he meant in that sense. What, what he oh, meant yeah. was the fact is you're talking absolute mints. <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of where he was going with it. Oh, okay then. Oh, you you do the commentary on that then. Live around the world. <laughs> Let's start, ladies and gentlemen. Please boys put your and hands. Girls. Would you please put your hands together? What's his name? Michael Buffer, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> <laughs> now, right. Let's get back to the game because you're, well, you're making is, me laugh too much. We'll joke on the side. This is now a massive, massive shot in the match because I think if they lose this frame. I think you've got to say Mike King and Aiden Gould's big, big favourites. 12-9. The pressure. Who's at 12, the table? 12-9 or 11-10. Do you know what I, mean? I mean, not only 11-10, they've got the break who's, next. Who's so. at the table? Uh, that's uh, that's Josh. You can tell by his muscles because Max oh, is yeah. like a Japanese racing snake. <laughs> where Josh has got quite big arms. Well, he's left him in. No, he's not. That's a great shot. One good shot. Total snooker. The black at the minute. Yeah, again, this is what I was saying to you earlier on. No matter where they come off the cushion... They've got a chance of potting it and landing on something, so they've got a good out, really. Yeah. You, well, he's going to hit it, no choice about it. It's just a case of where Mike he pots King. it. He's potted it. He's potted it. Yeah, he's, he's put... He's that. That's better than potting it, because if he potted that, it's, he's not nothing, is he? Great wow. shot. Wow, yeah, you're right. Great shot. I think he was actually playing in such a way to try and maybe develop the black as well. No. From the snooker position. Yeah, gonna, yeah, I think he's going to be in trouble now. Sure. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Pepsi, what game are you watching, mate? He's going up and down. That's a, it's no up and down shot, Pepsi. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> Blimey. I'm not well, am I? That's a fantastic shot by Max. He's brought the awkward yellow out and he's he's put really in the snooker. That Swerve point. off the rail and hit it. Um, well, I'll say off the two cushions, maybe. Cool. I don't see... It's, it's no... I can't see any one shot out here. No, it's definitely no one shot out. He's got to go off a couple of rails to try and land on something. No, he's not, is he? Again, perhaps bearing in mind we're playing black ball here, so you have to make a, a good attempt. Unless you're going off the... Is it loss of frame? I think um, a deliberate deliberate foul, if you're blatantly, deliberately not mm. making an effort, it's a loss of frame automatic. But... They've got to make, like say, they've got to make some sort of valid effort. I mean, okay, may, may, maybe go for corner bags here. Because, you know, they've got mm. such a big... Oh, he's there. looking at it as well. He's going. He's okay. going all in. Oh, he's <gasps> going. Oh. Wow. He's calling the shots tonight, isn't he? <laughs> Here we go. It is it. It definitely hit the ball. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. Yes. That's the unluckiest shot tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Phil Law. Um, surely Pepsi has got blinkers on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Pe- this Phil Law. Phil, Phil. Phil Law's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, mate. He's actually got a gentleman. Replay of the unluckiest shot tonight. I mean, it was one of them. It was unlucky, yes, but if he potted it, where is he going? Where Where are you going with that? After then, I don't. I don't see the shot. I don't. I don't agree with the shot. I don't see it. You, you've now you've gone from a pretty much guaranteed winning the frame to but guaranteed losing it. Do you know what? I love that action replay. That's yeah, phenomenal. I love Phil Law's um, text message to me. Oh, surely Pepsi has blinkers on. Yeah, he. I'm not a horse. No, but you do call some crazy shots, Pepsi. Okay, oh, fair oh, enough. You, you can't argue with him. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. <laughs> it's hard to say he's wrong, Pepsi. Ah, he's right. Right. I mean, the, what's the shot here, I suppose? Are we, are we Waste the shot? Well, it's, it's, it's playing the red onto the yellow and the black, in it? Try and develop it like that. Where's yeah. the white? Oh, that's a great oh, shot. Super. Fantastic. But he's pushed the red over, uh, the yellow over. Oh, again, you're playing Max and Joss. They don't miss shots, I guess. He, he'd, get on, he'd get on that one there now. Oh. He'd play the yellow oh, the middle, the black, screw across. And then he's fine. Absolute fine. Just a quick one, Phil. Are you enjoying the show? And uh, what what do you think of the game? And who do you think is going to win at this stage? If you want to come back on that one. Yeah, Phil, or give, drop me a text. What do you think? I, I say that. I think Phil may have a little uh, financial interest on it. So I think it's a bit... 
Well, we don't we don't need to talk about the money. We're just talking about. Well, no, when, you, when you've got a small interest, you can have a bit of a biased opinion. You. Fair shout. But I'm not seeing Max and Josh flow like they were just now to go up in free. Again, I don't, I don't, I disagree because you know they talk about the shots, which I, which I like. A lot of people say this wrong. I, I like it. You you know what they're going to play? They're going to play that. They're going to play the yellow in the middle, screw across, and the yellow on the cushion. Fact. Mm. But they they're, they're making sure you can't argue with it. Look at this. They they're, they're all over the table, aren't they? Nah, listen, it's, it's wow, shocking this. Well, it's going eleven ten, no matter what they do. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's, he's got a tight cut down the red. But again, he's playing it such a way he's going to be safe. The white will be safe. Do you think yeah. he might develop the black here? Black. If he's coming. Well, it only develop black if it doesn't go. If the black goes, which I think it does. The way they looked earlier, they won't touch it. If okay. it doesn't go, they will develop it. If he misses this down the rail, he's opened up the red and the black. It's a natural angle to come across. Phil Law's message back, 18-6. to Mike King and Hayden, you heard it here first. Uh, thank you very much, Phil. And, and Phil, what do you think of the show? Well, he thinks you've got blinkers on and you're a bit oh, silly. B.A. This is a tight shot. The, I day. told you. I told you. Yeah, but like I say, he's played in such yeah. a way, nothing can go wrong. Safe as ages. Yeah. Two cushions, red in the top left corner. It's the only shot you got, Mike. Back your arm, go for it. Fair shout. God, you're seeing, you're, I've got blinkers on now, Phil. It's the only shot I you got. I didn't even see it. But it's let's see, Aiden's let's, to play. Let's, oh, was it? No, it's not, it's Mike. Let's see where you play England there, eh? Let's see where you play in England International. Two cushions. Wow, he's going, he's, he's potted it. He's, well. He's, he's potted it. Oh, you! Oh, he's missed it. Oh no, he went for the safety. I thought he had the angle to go up. You're right. So he's guaranteed. Josh and Max have guaranteed this game. What a fantastic shot! Great shot. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Guaranteed. Eleven ten. I think it's their break as well to go into. Yeah. Big break. Massive, massive, massive break. Oh, he's telling him to take the ball over the pocket. No, he's not. He's, no. he's telling him that's going to be his next shot. <laughs> you watch a different game, Pepsi. <laughs> you honestly watch a different game. There we go. <laughs> funny, right? Yeah, great shot. Great Perfect. shot. Well done. Perfect angle now. So, ladies and gentlemen, 11 and 10. Lovely. Um, yeah, he's good, Pepsi. Very, very good shot. Max is awesome, isn't he? Well, they're both both awesome. He's, can't we just pin one at their friends? They both play very well. So then. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the commercials you saw there were Green Window, Russell Frame, and uh, Back the Best, and All Stars on Facebook. And I'm with Michael Bryan and Pepsi here. It's a great honor to be with Michael Bryan. So here we go. 11, 10. What a break, Mike. What a break. What do you think, Mike? Come on in. Uh, phenomenal break. Can't argue with that. Has he got the angle to spin it out? Yeah, he has. He won't spin it out, he'll screw into it, wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's what I mean, spinning. Look at that, what a shot. Great, great shot. So, game on the other table, 12-8. Playing very well. Wow, he's snooking himself on. Oh, he's no, just I made think, it. I think he looks okay. I think he looks happy enough, so... Oh, look at that. No, he's not, Mike. No. Nope. Wow. L look at that camera angle. 
well, I mean, that's, that's actually no excuse because he had no, no reason to try and go up too high. He had so much room for error. Do you know what I like about the camera angle? It's the camera, have you seen the camera? It's on wheels and they just push yeah, the camera. Perfect, around. brilliant. So he's got to screw around. Massive. So here we go. This is a turning point, 12 10. It should have been 11 each, a cracker of a game, ladies and gentlemen, possible 35 frames. So he's. He hasn't declared he can't see it. Right, well, yeah, as the way he's playing it, perhaps he's called a total on that. He's missed it. Wow. <gasps> wow. Wow. This is massive. Absolutely gigantic. Now, can he pick the white up, Mike? Yeah, or, yeah, he can, white white, yeah. he can pop the red free. You have, you have one free visit there, Peps. So okay. He can, he can he can pick it up and then have a free visit. How about taking this red here and, uh, and then running away and snookering again? Well, it all depends what they're thinking. Personally, I'll be picking the white up now and, and looking at developing a few. Wow. I don't, I don't think those reds are really in the way for him. God, are you seeing what Mike's doing? Well, they're obviously having dis disagreement what they fancy, which is fine. What? Why? Why pick? Oh, well, that's what yeah, he's doing. I don't, don't, don't disagree with that. Get, get the two organs out of the way. I don't see why they're playing that on it, personally. But yeah, that's what I just said. But they're going to go to clear the bottom one as well, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting that up. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? That's the best luck he's had so far. That's yeah. incredible. He's gone, gone okay in fairness to him. Yeah, nice, nice visit. Kiss the blackout, Mike. I mean, well, again, my attitude is that they can pot it no matter where they land. I mean, if, if this is me now, <sighs> my, my last shot. Wow. My my last yellow would have been the yellow that the white's touching now, and then rolled the black in the cushion. But that's just me. That was the worst shot Mike Mike's played. That's perfect. He's on the Is other. He? Yeah. I thought he was going in off. He's fine. Okay. Perfect. What a shot. Again, goes back to it. Just let them back the pot in. That they they they're gonna get the black out. Yeah. Just back their pot in. Guys, all the pumped up. I'm watching this game here. It's all pumped up here. Twelve thirteen out there. So here we go. Will this be the uh, the frame? To well, go? It'll be the frame. I guarantee yeah, Will this be it? This is massive. We'll Stun this back a bit. It'll be fine. Oh, he's screwing back. I don't he's, like him when he's screwing back. to screw it back, Pepsi. Where's get, he going with the white? one off the cushion. I mean, he's played it absolutely disgracefully. That's what wow. I said. You can't predict on that. Well, you, that's, that's, a, that's a shambles. That's what I just said. You, you, when you're jerking up in the air, you... you I mean, he's, he's, I suppose he's been a bit lucky in a way that he, he's got the black to snooker behind. Because mm. you, you can play the yellow on the other yellow just to cover the bag. Yeah, great shout, Mike. And then snooker on the black. But, it, I mean, it, this this is crazy. This this should be 12-10 all day long. That's what I said. You can't jack the queue action up like that. You're... Right, first of all, it's Mike's shot. Yeah. What is that? What was that? I thought he can see the red. He can just see it. Enough to pile it in the, the middle. The thing is, now, maybe he's not got the bag. Whether he can see it or not, if they hit this ball, they have got they haven't got really an easy out. So it's, it's a bit awkward now. But he shouldn't be in that position. He's telling them to go in there. Oh, wow. So here we go. Sit back. Could it be 11 each or 12 10? Massive shot. What's Max doing? <laughs> yeah, they're going for the middle pocket. Mm. Do you know what? I'm going to put it down. I'm going to say he's going to pot it. No. Oh, he nearly had it. He nearly had it off the yellow. I thought that was going in. Well, containing safety shot there by Aiden. Fantastic shot, absolutely fantastic. So here we go. The thing is, no, no matter what Josh. they do now, whether they get the red or not, yeah, it's game, Mike's yeah. gonna have a pot on. And if Mike's got a pot on, Mike don't miss. They have to pot a ball now to have any chance. Simple as that. Mm. It's been a fantastic day, Mike. It really is. And look at this. The Plymouth boys have done really well. well Plymouth and Exeter have done really well. Fantastic result. Look at this. He's, he needs to pop this red. Big shot. And he's got it. He's got it. What a shot. 
that has to go down as another good shot today. Uh, well, again, you can't. He's got the, definitely the second prize. I think if Mike plays this yellow over the corner there, though, he can stun into the other one mm. to pop the other one in that and move on off the red and get the black out. I get sorry, get the pocket of the black. <laughs> but he needs to play the cannon. It, the pot's in, it guaranteed. It's just a cannon. Oh no! Wow. This is what I'm trying to say to you, boys. It's an easy out there. Where was he going? He had now. He had to. He had to play into the cannon. cannon. Yeah. Well, it's eleven each. All because. He got out of the snooker, and the red landed well, over the pocket. Yeah, that, that's why. It, it played that's that's, that's, screw, that's why it was a great shot. Screw back onto the black, develop the black at the same time. <sighs> there we are. Well, he's done it perfect. I thought he overcooked it. Oh, great shot. Josh is playing fantastic. Oh, he's just screwing back right in behind it. There you go. Lovely shot. Where's the white? Perfect. The white's perfect, Pepsi. Absolute perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You're brilliant, mate. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence. Mm. Yeah. So here we go. Eleven each, and I think it's Mike King and Hayden's break. Big old frame here after the last one. They really wow. should have won that one. Really should have won that one. Yeah, guaranteed to win as well, and they they pulled it back out of the snooker. Yeah. Dangerous situation. <laughs> Mike will be back in a minute. He's just popping out. So that this is massive. He needs the break and run. I'm seeing frustration out there on the other tables. I'm looking at a couple of tables, and it's thirteen, twelve. It's eight, three. We're back in it. Come on. Oh wow, he's, did you hear that? Is somebody's it's thirteen each, so next time they have a day like this I might come up with a few quid and uh, have a game with someone. <laughs> Be nice. Black Hall Rules, I like Black Hall Rules, I haven't played it. But. So here we go, Josh up the table. He's going for the cut in the middle. Great cut if he makes this. There it is. He's missed it. Will this be the turning point when uh, Aiden comes to the table? He's going to take the yellows on, and will this be 12 11? It's crucial, ladies and gentlemen, this yellow ball. Crucial. So here we go. Come on, Aiden. Perhaps he's apprentice. What a sh oh, he's gone too straight. Oh, Mike. You, you, so uh, is, is this from the break, is it? No, Josh missed a, a very difficult cut into the middle. Oh, did they break dry, did they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he, he missed the middle, and uh, he's, as you can see, it's all Dolly Parton's, as Jazz Green would say. I won't quite go that far, but I'll, I would probably expect him to take it out. Yeah. He's gone the most difficult way yeah. first. That's Perfect. The way, that's the way to play it. Get the, get the old one out of the way. He's got, he's got a couple of nice ones there. He's fine. Lovely job. This is why he's in England international, ladies and gentlemen. The achievement to get there is fantastic. Well, England A, I think, wasn't it? It's not just England. England A, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Incredible. My dream was to play for England, and I nearly got there. And then you woke up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got blinkered on the way, as Phil would say. And no, I lost to Chris Littler in the decider who plays for England. Oh, what a man he is. Why is he... D I'm, I'm sorry. Why is he gone that way? Why didn't he take the one in the middle? Because that one in the middle is a Donnie Parton. Okay, then. He's fine. Absolute fine. Yeah. It wouldn't actually surprise me. That one in the middle is a last one. freezing. It is. Put your little, isn't it? Oh, it's like for sitting on an iceberg. Yeah, that's a nice shot as well. I don't think it is. That's fine. Wow, he's got to be dead yeah, straight. No, no he, he has got too much for angle there. In fairness. Thank you, Mike. Hooray! You're getting blinkered. It's catching. <laughs> Again, just just back his arm. They don't miss pots. Don't worry about it. Leave him. Leave him the long ball at the top. Hmm. He won't miss it. There, there. Big shot on the, the match, in fairness. Oh, he's 
guy. Was he? No. No, you can't do that. You can't go back toward doubles. He's going to hit the black, isn't he? He's freezing it on the black. What? Perhaps what, what are you going on about, mate? He's going to put the yellow and hold it on the black. He, listen, just follow that yellow through the middle. Leave Mike the young yellow. Fine. Okay, he won't then. miss it. Ooh. Here we go. There's a bit of noise out there. It's fairly neat, I can see. But. You tired, Mike? No. Oh, yeah. it's barely cut. Wow. I think I'm lucky. Did he get that? He no. said, where's that yellow going, Mike? Yeah, with goals, 100%. The only, I don't know if the yellow goes in the, the bottom right corner. Oh, it would be nice if we had a camera angle to go. Yeah. No. No. Well, th in that case, I don't get that shot at all. So, no, it's very strange. You're it is, on, isn't it? You're relying on so much luck, which was never going to happen. Where, what, what's he going to do? A backdoor double? Wow. Oh, he's going to get out of the pocket. Yeah, well, you're not. You never get the pocket out of this rules. <laughs> <sighs> you're making me tired, then. I think you just got to screw back a bit and play the yellow for the double, really. That's the only real shot I can see on you. Unless you play the double now. No, it's dangerous, that, isn't it? Well, the yellow's going to be doubled either way. They're going to just screw back, <coughs> yellow double in the corner. Like I said, all they've done. And he's not even really come back far enough. But, so here we go. Where's he going? Just doubling on hundred percent Pepsi in the shot they got. Where to? The corner Pepsi. No, oh, that ain't going anywhere. Well it does double, it's just no. you hit it right. I ain't gonna get close. Well he ain't left him great on it. I think they they don't even touch the side. Wow. You could see the way he was queuing up. Well from eleven nine, which should have been twelve nine to twelve eleven down. He's looking for the the snooker in beyond the top. I don't know. Why not go for it? Um, hmm. Hang on a second. What's happened? The thing is, a black ball, my opinion, is attack or be attacked. That's what I always say in it. Have they forgotten whose turn it is? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's actually the way it's uh, looking like Max is. Okay, so here we go, Max. Max is on fire at the moment, so here we go. I think we may see a good snooker coming up here. And cover the bag, uh, cover the pocket. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, definitely. So we're just a few frames away from the f who gets the five thousand pound? Two and a half grand each. Take care. Not bad for a payday for a game of pool. Uh, did Nick win? Uh, Nick. Nick Chalk. Yeah. Did he yeah. win? No. Who would ever give me played? Yeah. He he won his last. Yeah. Yeah. He won seven six first game, then twenty one fourteen against uh, Shane Jogale. And the last one. And he, Phil Law. I think Phil said it was a l wow. What? He's left the yellow one. What? I I I missed that. Please. Oh, oh. Awesome. strange shot. Yeah, then he um he beat Phil in the last game. I think Phil said it was 11-4, 11-5. But I know he had starts in each game, so I don't know what the start was. Can I just say that's the best shot? Look at the camera angle. Oh my word! That's an incredible uh, shot. So that, ladies and gentlemen, that's why he's in England right. international. This could be the turning point. I mean, I love Josh a bit. He's a lovely guy, but that that was a real, real bad shot. He had, no, wow. I don't know if we can see the replay of that last shot. I don't know. Well, I don't think you're going to replay a, 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 that sort of shot. I think you only replay the, the worldies. That's massive. Again, though, you can only put that under pressure, I assume, because Josh would never never miss a shot like that or play a shot like that. That's incredible. He's, uh, he's put the yellow over the One back. thing I will say is Go ahead. all the players I've said how fast the table is. Lovely, but very, very fast. Mm. So... Mm. But then, you know, he's 24 frames in or 23 frames in, so you, I suppose you can't really use that. Do you see it going all the way, Mike? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it all depends now. I think after that shot, it all depends how they hold the red. 
Um, if Josh is Edwards and Max is Edwards, because that's a that's a wow. That's do you do you know? I was I was just about to say like, something's going to happen. I mean, well, no, the, the, this frame's over now. Now, does he get what happens when the cue ball goes off? As I told you about four times, mate, you get one free shot, and then, then yeah, I didn't. Off. I knew that if you went in <laughs> off, but being off the table, no then. difference, mate. Okay, then. you never have two shots in blackball, never. So he's going to free the red. No, he can't. Why? So this is a possible 13-11. Well, I wouldn't say it's a possible. I'd say it's a, it's a certainty. Oh, we've, we've heard those words before and they've missed. <laughs> they won't be, this won't <laughs> yes, be missing they from here. They've missed the easy peasy lemon yeah. squeezy ones. They won't be missing from here. Get the couple, get the oak one to the bottom and available and then they all follow. Up. Yeah, it's been a good show here today. Look at it. The pressure's on two and a half thousand pounds each. And Not each, per team. Yeah, but what I mean is that the the pot is fantastic. It really is for a game of pool. Where is he going? Why ain't he taking? Oh, he's. I don't understand. Mike, come on in. What's 100%. he doing? Pot, pot the yellow or we'll get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame that shot. Nothing wrong with that at all. Don't think he's played it fantastically. I think. Wow. That's what I just said. I don't yeah, know where he's going. No, yellows now dollies, and they. I think they probably wanted to go reds, but even yellows are fine. They got no no problems. You can change colour when you've done that. No, it's a free shot. Totally free shot. Wow. For you guys, I I don't know Blackpool rules, but I'm picking it up as we're going along. I'd probably play the. I mean, they're gonna be hamper Chinese snooker or something, but play the other yellow. Yeah. Give it a go. Um, after the, although they pot the red peps, just so you are aware that whatever they go for now, they have to pot. If they miss a shot, now it's open table. Thank you, Mike. So if he misses his yellow, which he probably won't, it's open table. No, there you go. I enjoyed today. Yeah, yeah. great shot. Never and shot by uh, Mike. I've never. Uh, I've met fathers and sons today. See, I would play that one. Sorry, sorry. I would play the one in the middle now. Yeah, disturb great it off the red, then get rid of that. Oh, well, a yellow. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And uh, the father's sons are coming up to me and they're saying, Pepsi, nice to see you. And I'm going, what the hell, they're 20, 30 years old. And I'm thinking, God, how old am I? <laughs> that was incredible today. I remember apparently when they were kids. Apparently you're alive around the world, aren't you? <laughs> oh, world. don't start. Don't start me off. Because mm. I, I have, I, I'm, I'm the luckiest pool player in the world, so... Well, it's definitely, definitely 13 11 now. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's, he's doing what he should have done. <laughs> he's played an absolutely plum perfect Pepsi. Goodbye. I think we're watching a different game. <laughs> My apprentice, ladies and gentlemen, Hayden, and uh, hundreds and hundreds of hours of practice when he was younger. Great no, shot. No, 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 no. Great shot. No, it isn't. Oh, wow. No, it isn't. Uh, Hayden and Swerve is. It'll be fine. Oh, okay. It's only a little Swerve. That was massive for 13 11. Again, you, you've got to say, Mike's one of the best players around. Such a bad shot. He had so much room for error. Sorry, Mike, you know him, you're my friend, but he had so much room for error there. I can't believe he played it that way. Oh, he's, he's given him confidence, it. yeah. I've got no doubt whatsoever, Hayden, to get it. I mean, shame we can't see another, can we get another camera angle? No. If we can see that just how much of a swear, but I have no. Beard Productions have done hell of a while today. Wouldn't surprise me at all if he. So here we go. Can you see that? Wow. Yeah. We haven't got much. Uh, that's not a massive swear for someone like Hayden. <sighs> Mike King's not looking too it well with him happy with himself. No. Oh, well, he's jacking up quite a bit, so he's bigger than we think. No. Wow. So. Oh, welcome back to 12-12. Uh, the, the, these are the things that look... That Josh... The shot Josh played the last frame, which was obviously a bit of a poor shot. Yeah. Really. Um, if you polish him with this frame, that's in his head. That affects him. When you've just given him a frame back, mm. his mistake is now gone. So now it's Mike's turn to try and forget that mistake. Definitely. Now it's, um, well, definitely 12 weeks, really. You can't argue that. What 
Jack Well just saying the streaming is class from beer, but need to change the commentary. Oh, okay. Jack, who would you look to change? Is it uh, Michael or is it Pepsi? Oh, thanks. I'll go. I'll, I'll go back on the plane home then. He's, yeah, he's not happy. I, 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 don't think, a... I don't think he's happy with one of us, Peps. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I've only flown halfway around the world to be here today. Mind you, I've come to see my kids as well for Easter break. <laughs> 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 but it was my one day off in a year. Seriously, and I come here. Mike asked me to turn up, and uh, I surprised um, Paul, Beer Productions, and uh, uh, the owner of the All Stars was fantastic. He was so happy that I came today. So a dedicated, staggering, coming up to 14 hours of my time today. Great show. To be with Beer Productions as well as uh, All Stars. And so I've had a great day. Sorry for the commentary. They're all smiling. Paul's smiling. So here we go. What a great shot from Josh. Beyond the black. He's missed it. Oh, my word. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the biggest miss I've seen today. That's incredible miss. Mike, talk me through that one. What um, I'm shocked. Very shocked. I mean, the worst thing about it was where the white lands as well. I mean, he's not even literally left. I mean, he's been a bit lucky where it's landed because he's on the cushion, it's not left him much easy. But if Max is playing that black now, he won't be too happy. Not sure, I'm, I don't know, I'm a little bit struggling what I'm seeing at the minute. I'm very shocked what I'm seeing it, Josh. Okay, can Mike pop this? Well, he's just got to roll it in, he dead weight. Leave the... That's the best shot. Wow. Now. Oh, that's incredible. Now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I mean, Hayden should <sighs> where you expect to put it, but this is now where... Pepsi's Apprentice is at the table. This Hundreds of hours with me. This is it. This is when, now the, the pressure really is on Josh because he's really, well, it being horrible, he's, he's given the last two frames away. Incredible. We've, uh, we, we've just seen a, a fantastic cut there, Mike, and we've just talked about commentary uh, on YouTube. But at the end of the day... Yeah, no, um, at, the, at the end of the day, um, people might not know me, but uh, I say how I see it and pump it up and uh, enjoy the show. But uh, if, you, if you're not happy with the commentary, turn the volume off, take care. <laughs> <laughs> or we're just... Uh, <laughs> We're, we're, what we'll do with the commentary, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're, giving, we're giving the commentary free and you pay oh, to see the pool. It's a dry break. <laughs> so if you want to see the pool, then pay for it and you get 100% commentary of nobody. It's a shame, really. Dry yeah. break out. Wow, that's not the best. Wow. So anyway. You so. see, see what Josh's character is like now, really, because he's, uh, mm. say, a lovely, I think lovely guy, but he's not had the best couple of frames. See how he uh, reacts now. I think he might uh, pull the rabbit out of the bag here. I think he's going to come very strong now because he's Basically, disappointed yeah, after those last two he's frames. He's a very, very good player, so I fully expect him to come back. Yeah, but he's when you're playing Scottish doubles, it's always different. When you're playing, your yeah. own, when you're playing singles yourself... You know, you're, you're letting yourself down, and I don't, I'm not saying Josh is letting anybody down because he's a lovely guy, great player. But you're letting yourself down. Yeah. When you're playing doubles, you, you, you know, may, maybe Max telling him what to do too many times is not helping. Because that's what I said earlier. Yeah, it's, it's happening all the time. Every shot, he's he's hands are there, cues yeah. are there. I don't know who was playing the shot. Now he's criticising. Oh, I don't know. No, he's he's, not no, what I meant is he's he's predicting where the white should be gone. 
And it's putting pressure on, on both of them. So Max is Max isn't flowing, is he? Oh, I've got to say, I think he's playing quite well. <laughs> no, what I meant I is... Again, you're not going to flow when you're playing Scots Doubles. No, I suppose not. You're playing with a partner. Oh, it's all happening on the other table. 13-11. 13-11, though. Dean needs a little word with himself, I think. If he loses this, he'll be absolutely sick. 8-1 up, I think it was, or 7-1 up. No, yeah, he was, wasn't he? 7-1 yeah. up. It was a big, big old DD up, so... So we're coming to the end of the big match today. We're just a few frames away. Such a big frame, though. I've said this many times tonight. Right, as, as predicted, there's, there's been about, I reckon, uh, about 500 people here today, in and out in the last 14 hours. So there's about 100 people still here to see the end of the game. Playing these very well, are you? Can I argue with that? So, Max is going to be playing the black. Uh, hang on. No, no, um, Josh will be playing the black. Yeah, Josh is going to be playing the black. So, it's going to be very interesting to see if he's going to hold his cue action. Max will get him the best possible angle. That's it. That's it. It'll be fine. So, here we go. I'm very confident Josh will pop these. He, he's not. Josh is no bottle of Pepsi. He's a very, very good player. There you go. Max, so has, Max has played that lovely. This is a massive black. To bring it back to 13 12. Here we go. Oh, tight. And it's. Yeah. In. He no, gives he it the fist pump as well. Yeah. yeah that the old bit of, uh, he needed that after, let's like, say, after a couple of slackish frames. That's a fantastic deal, he? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm with Michael Bryan, and lovely, my name's Pepsi. Lovely, lovely break there for uh, Max and Josh. So. Wow, boy, yeah. 13 each. I yeah. tell you what, to the fans and the tenants and to the fans around the world, what a comeback for these boys. And that one I shot. I don't know if you notice, though, it, uh, every time someone's had a two-frame lead, it's, that's all it's really ever been. It's only ever it's, it's fluctuated from one to two. I'm going to predict if they win this frame, they're going to go 15, 15, 13 up. Josh and, and, and Max, because they haven't had any swing of the roundabout at all at this stage. They've always been behind. They're fighting behind all the time. You know I love you to bits, but you are talking some rubbish again, mate. They were 8-6 up and missed Dolly's to go 9-6 up. <laughs> so <laughs> everything not at the rock and green. <laughs> what game are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's the jet lag. I, you know, I feel a bit jet lagging. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make excuses. That's a great shot. Yeah. Absolute. Oh, oh, that's a big. Again, it, it comes back, back your arm. There's no way Nosco's on it. He is not missing that black. End of. Yeah, he's he's gonna marry the sim right, isn't he? He's oh, on yeah. the last black than the rail. <gasps> wow. That's the most. Oh, can we oh. have the can we have the replay on that? We'll have to have a look at that again. That is the most incredible. I've seen these shots before. I the rabbit it, popped out yeah. the hole. I'm pretty sure he played it well enough. I don't think it was a bad shot. I think it was a bit of an. Watch the pace on. Uh, hopefully, we can get the action we'll, replay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a replay of that in a minute We're when, when it's not a rabbit shot. A rabbit came out of the pocket, and Mac is mm. disgusted. This he, is where you got to love the beard, isn't it? When, when they played a terrible. Well, no, I, I say terrible shot. Bad shot or an unlucky shot. You zoom in to see them sick. <laughs> you watch them here. Mike, Mike, well, come on. The no, rabbit, know, there was a, a rabbit in I, the pocket I, and I, it popped up. I don't think he played a bad shot. I think he played a good shot. I think he was yeah. very lucky. But what I'm saying is when a player's ill, they're absolute fuming. Mm. <laughs> there we are, bang, straight in, zoom in, <laughs> just to watch him look up. <laughs> Devastated. Okay. So is he going to get the black out here or is he going to double it? What, what, what's your call? Um... I say he's... Oh, he's moved it. I, he's, I, wait, I, I call he's going to move it now. No. But he can also play... The, well, 
stun into it. You got nothing to lose. You got you're on the yellow anyway. Now he's gone for the double. Wow. Can Mike play as good as Max on the doubles? Mm, well, he plays England, so I'm assuming he's in. Okay. He's, this is this what? is is this sixty forty of her what, double? Yeah. Well, I'd say eighty twenty. Okay then. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Will this be fourteen twelve to the king? <clears throat> I'm looking forward to seeing the replay, I've got to be honest. I'm looking forward to that. Watch the rabbit pop out of the pocket. It's in. Yeah. Mike. Uh, Never doubt Mike. It. Here we go. We might we'll, get, we'll, the we'll get a replay now of it. Watch the see. rabbit. Here comes. Uh, watch the rabbit pop out of the pocket. Here we go. Watch the rabbit. Yeah. No. Yeah. The rabbit didn't want it in there. That's no, that's no poor shot. That's Who's so that, unlucky. Mike? Who's that waving? That's no poor shot. That's so unlucky. That's uh, th 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 they're all cheering on the players. I will say, listen, as you all know, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm pro Mike and Hayden here, but in the same breath, that shouldn't have happened, and that, and that would have been 13 each. But it, you know, in the same, you know, it's, it's now down to Mike and Hayden to punish him here. Well, Matt, there's no way they would have missed that clearance. So guaranteed 13 each to 14 12 is, is massive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're four frames away from one of the biggest victories in the Southwest in doubles. Well, I wouldn't, wouldn't really go that far again, perhaps. But well, 5,000. <laughs> how, how many double That's matches have you seen with 5,000? Phenomenal break, that is. And wow. who did that, Hayden? Well, you've got to say, as uh, my good friend Matt Walker would say, Mary Poppers, how's your father, isn't it? Ash Browns. Have you ever gone for? Oh, oh, yeah. Do you know what I like it when I, when I go for dinner with Mike? Uh, when I go for dinner with Matt, Ash Browns. <laughs> we, we went for a ruby last week, actually. Oh, I love going dinner with, with Edgy. Edgy. Me, Matt, and Edgy. Oh, I love Edgy. I get his gold, Edgy. Lovely guy. Uh, what would you be going for here, then, buddy? Are you going yellows or reds? To me, <laughs> to me, it's yellows all day long. But I know you're watching a different name. Oh, well, you, they answered it. Yellows, so. then. Yeah, you'd have probably <laughs> picked reds. <laughs> I would have picked yellows. <laughs> no, I would have picked greens, <laughs> oranges. Well, the, the, these are now, you know, you, you can't see any problems. Black either. ball middle pocket in it. 15, 12, three frames away from becoming the champions here today. Show me the money. Aiden is, he's, he's awesome. Look at this. Jacking up. Great shot. In it goes. Oh, he's upset. He's all right. Again, he's, he's fine. He's stuck over the... He's all right. Not the best shot, but he'll be fine. Mike King's fine. Yeah. Oh! Is the rabbit going to come in the pocket again for Mike? Yeah, Mike we call it the rabbit. rabbit. Here it comes. Don't do it too hard, Mike. You see what happened to Max. Max knows the rabbit is in the pocket. He did. The rabbit popped out of the pocket again. He headbutted no, no. the ball. No, that was that was no rabbit. That was um, pure George. <laughs> the yellow hit the jaw. <laughs> okay, but that was massive. Yeah, that was a. Uh, it was a bad miss. The position, the, the position, the shot before was a very poor shot. Mm. Will the rabbit come out again? 15 12 to 14. Oh, it's just good going. Well, he's fine. <laughs> what, what are you watching, perhaps? <laughs> I'm watching rabbits take the balls back out. There's a hand in the pocket. <laughs> They're all in. They, you know, they can play a nice cannon here to get the bag, guaranteed to get the bag, or they can kind of go for it. Do you know when they do the camera like this? Look around you, all the people, the TVs. It, it's just ridiculous. There's like a cinema here. Big screen over there when they had to put the football on, rugby or whatever it was racing. So, what's your prediction now, then, Mike? I don't know, mate, because all I see is mistake after mistake. Really, I mean, it's like watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is zoned in. He's got it. I said, get the bag tonight. Yeah, look at that. Well, you, I mean, in Blackpool, don't forget you got you have got the skill shot option. So, if they potted this and then potted the ball after, they can do that. He's looking at it, isn't he? Um, He's looking at it, Mike, or not? Well, personally, I'm the worst skill shot player ever, so I don't like it. But I think you need... I think when it's a bit more distance between them, I think it's a bit easier. Wow. Did you see what he just done? No. He's going to put the red. He's going to go for the double and move no. the red. Yeah, but I mean... My blinkers you, are off. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it now. If you miss the double, then you pop the red, you know, you've lost the frame. Well, not lost a frame, but you give him a free shot and you, you expect to lose a frame. This is massive. So he's going to play the double into the middle pocket and 
bang the red in all in one go. Hold tight. That's why he Ab is Pepsi's apprentice. That's absolute world class. Absolute phenomenal, phenomenal shot. What an honour it is to see my apprentice do well, ladies and gentlemen. That's just incredible. Do you know what I called that? I will say it to you, Pep, so I'll give you that one, but that's give probably the first shot you've called correct all night. <laughs> if it took me like 13 hours, 14 hours. I'll say a little bit longer. Oh, shut up. The rabbit didn't come out, but it might come out for the black, so oh, the black his ears might pop up and say, you're like going in. Dolly Parton. So here we go. Bit of check side here to, well, I won't swing it around, I'll check it into the middle. What's he doing? What's he doing? Hey, like, I, I can't cope. No, oh, please, stand I wouldn't, back. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't swing around. If it's me now, I'll be checking it off, yellow in the upper middle. Oh, no, play it for the middle. And if it goes wrong, you've got it in the corner, you've got different options then, and you? Now he's looking at the middle, well yeah, done. You, you've got to go that way, it's crazy not to. It's been a fancy. Yeah, steal with a frame as well, great, great shot by Aiden. What's he doing? That's the way. Oh, no, it's not. Fine. He's alright. He's in the corner, isn't it? No, it's not. That's yeah, suicidal. No, he's fine. He, he top himself. Why didn't he just hold it for the middle? Yeah, he can screw up and down, can he? He can come up and down here. Okay. He'll be fine. <coughs> no, he's going around the table, Mike. No, he's going up and down. That's what no. he's doing. Oh, well, that's funny. He went up and down, Peps. <laughs> no, he's gone in behind the red. He's gone in behind the red. Pepsi, what game are you watching? <sighs> Dear Lord. <laughs> He's went up and down exactly what I said. Okay, then. Watch the rabbit. Will the, the ears. Watch the hand come out of the pocket. Ready? Here it comes. Diggy boo. <laughs> boo. God. Oh, well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're three frames away. And I know one thing. The thing I don't agree it's 13 each on the you know, Max played a great shot and he's been he's been robbed really in 13 each to 50. Oh, there you Siri, go. But yeah, absolutely so, great shot. That, and I caught that one. And, and look at Max's eyes. Look, look, you know, he's realised that's a great shot. Well done, Beard Productions, on yeah. the uh, replay on that best shot. Some fantastic shots here today. And once again, Max is uh, one of the best breakers. Pepsi, what a star. Oh, that's fine. Thank you, Phil. Phil Law, Pepsi, what a star. Uh, I, I called it, you see. The blinkers are off. Uh. That's one word for him. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, everybody. Because we were a bit worried about the commentary because uh, because we're live on YouTube and we, we, we don't know what we're up against. Uh, and we don't see all the viewers, what, what they comment on, and we can't answer to them. But at the end of the day... We just for the just so they know the other game, Dean Lapham's just gone fourteen eleven up against wow. uh, Ben Smith. Seven one down, wasn't he? No, no, he was seven one up, Pepsi. Okay, seven one up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm back again, you know. <laughs> even even the tournament. Uh, yeah, even even uh, Paul Mould, the older yeah, of beer, just said yeah. Pepsi may get something right in a minute. Uh, I've got one thing right. It took me hours. <laughs> but um, the worst thing about it, Pepsi, don't even drink. <laughs> I don't do it. I'm going to blame the jet lag. Mike, we've had some good times right. over the years. Yellow's here now. Christ, I must have known you about 20 years. Cool. Christ, and maybe more. <laughs> well, there you go. It takes a while to get him to make... Oh, look at this. He's bringing out the two yellows. Oh, you've got to bring them out, yeah. yeah. Well, so, really, it's only the one yellow, isn't it? But Max is playing on fire. Yeah, but you only bring that, you only bring that yellow beyond the red. You're not touching anything else. All the rest go. Just a little tap on that one there. What a shot. Great. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Do you know what? I would, this game deserves a decider. Uh, hopefully not. In fact, that I'm um, loyal to the Devon lads, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about the Devon lads, haven't they done well? Uh, Jazz, Jazz World uh, runner-up with uh, Darren. And Paul Boston, once again, he, he is showing Plymouth um, the money leagues. Oh, he's gone in. Oh, the rabbit nearly got in. Mm. Nearly came out again. The rabbit they come out, stopped it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Paul Boston, once again, he's, he's got all the money leagues going and it gives Greg Batten and, and all the top players in it um, great standard of pool to play in. So well done to Paul Boston, still going after 40-odd years. So that's some going. 
Just one thing I would say. I mean, I don't know what that's got to do with this money match here. <laughs> it's called a shout out. <laughs> wow, he nearly. He did. Do you know what he did then? He did a Matt Walker movement with the body. Mm. All in Matt Walker shuffle. <laughs> this ain't easy. This in the rabbit will grab it. Told you what easy. <gasps> the rabbit came out of the pocket. That wasn't easy, mate. That wasn't. This is incredible. The good thing now that they've got like your red now over the, over the in the in the top left corner. They got a bit of a shot to nothing really because they uh, play it. Snooker. No, that's what I'm saying. They got a double okay. county snooker, they? But wow, the this is the first time I've really seen Mike and Aiden discuss the snooker i think it's the first time you've probably seen the match i mate, because they yeah. discuss loads <laughs> no in this depth look you get the ball here where my finger is yeah. don't understand this guys i really don't go for the go for the clearance when you're 15 12 up you don't have to do nothing silly you, no. you know, you've got to you've got to be a bit sensible yeah okay then <coughs> Snooker in behind the black? Uh, no, no, I'll be, I'll be, if I've done this, it's all good, it? I'm not doing anything. I'll play the snooker up the top. Definitely, okay then. So here we go. Oh, it's Aiden to play. So, no, Aiden's going for it. No, he won't. <sighs> Some game this is, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting all emotional. So we've seen 25 frames as the time's 26. Who's playing the shot? Mike King. I told you he's going in beyond the black. Told you. Mm. Called another one. No, 13 hours. It's two to me. An hundred to you. <laughs> well, anyway. The atmosphere is building up, ladies and gentlemen. She's a so here we go. Will he pot it, Mike? Mm. No. Wow, he's going off one, two, two heavy-duty heavy rails here. Here he is. So here we go. Two heavy-duty rails. One, two, bang. Will the rabbit get the ball? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he... Oh, he got out of it, all right. So he needs to clear the table now. They will clear the table now. Come on. So perhaps he's apprentice, Aiden. That's perfect. He's at the table. Mike's at the table now, England International, ready to get onto the hard. Look at that camera shot. Fantastic. Beautiful shot. Isn't it? Look at the, the camera angle was fantastic. Well, yeah, that, I'm, I'm in the shot he played. Yeah. <laughs> no danger whatsoever. So here we go. Absolutely perfect. Left him no pressure though, just a little step back. I didn't, you right, know, the, the yeah. way Aiden's playing, he's playing with a lot of confidence now. They, they, I think they needed that chat and it's changed their games to go 16-12 up. There we go. Definitely 16 as well, though. There's no rabbits in uh, going to come up on this game again. So here we go. Oh, he's left him a bit of a tough shot. Oh, yeah, very tough, isn't it? You mean the yellow, red in the middle of the open? <laughs> there you go. England player, yeah, he's really struggled with that, perhaps, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Aiden, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps he's apprentice. Has uh, done really well today. He's shown why. He's since, since the old rabbit in the hatch and the max in the middle bag, he ain't won a frame since. Yeah, it hasn't, yeah. They've jinxed the table. And it's our break. Well, say our break, I shouldn't say that. It's Hayden and uh, Mike King's break. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're just two frames uh, uh, away from a fantastic victory for Team Mike and Aiden. So, here we go. Is there a comeback for my, uh, for Max? And you the answer is yes, there is. Yeah, you would never write them off. You can't write them off. A couple of dry breaks and that's <gasps> over. Watch the white, watch the white. Here she goes. Not just a white, you want to land or something. Um, <sighs> I would go for reds all in. Yeah, you got it. You, you're playing up the top, and you? 
Who, who shot is it? Mike's. Oh, he's slicing it in. This is this is a Matt Walker clearance. Wow. There we go. Yeah. Bear yeah. in mind, it's open table, so if he misses. Oh, yeah, Richie was oh he's going to miss that, is he? Look at that. He's put a yellow to safe. Phil Listen. Laws just asked me if Trigger has lost his other game. We'll see if we can find out for you then. Um, let's have a look. Time. I don't know. I, th I think it's still going. So here we go. He's Look at Mike King. He's in. Um, Phil, I've just been told Trigger was losing 16-13, but we will go ahead and have a look at that. I think he was 10-6 up in that game as well, so that's a bit of a bit of a turnaround, if that is uh, correct. So here we go. All in. He's going to screw this back to the middle pocket. Where's he going? Oh, he's done it. Overcooked it. He's, Again, burnt, he's, he's burnt the cake. I, I think he's fine. He, he's, he's got the yellow to hold on, so I think he may be a bit lucky there. Wow. And he had so much room for error. Yeah, fantastic. Well, black top corner. Bob's your uncle. If you need somebody to pop this black, Hayden you call Wilson. in the England 18 player. Well, it's actually Hayden playing the shot, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you call him Pepsi's Apprentice. Yes. And he's pumped it. That's why he's Pepsi's Apprentice, ladies and gentlemen. He's <laughs> pumped it in. I told him get some love out there and enjoy it. <laughs> if you need someone to take it, England's 18 player or Pepsi. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the, to the game. Um, Michael Bryan and myself are, are, are all excited. We are one frame away. Phil Law, just to let you know, uh, unfortunately, Trigger lost 21-18 to Jason Beck, we've just been told. Uh, Max and Josh, yellow's here. We need to solve six in a row now, which is very, very tough. Um, in a minute... Um when we get to the closing stages, I'll go out in the... By the closing stages, you mean like now? Well, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Just one frame away. It's only one frame to go, perhaps. <laughs> one frame away. <laughs> but let's don't write these boys off, because they've come out they've with that shot. Wow. Perhaps. They, right. they, anything's possible. They have to win. Mm -hmm. Um... Hang on a second, is he going to get the angle to kick the black out? No, you're not kicking it, no. Oh, oh wow. What? There's a rabbit in that pocket as well. Yes. they got to win six frames on the bounce. Just had a nice message from uh, Greg Batten. Perhaps he don't know what day it is. What a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jet lagged, Greg. Oh, 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 has he got home, is he? Yeah, he's, he's gone, mate. I, mean, I he's love just, Jack. He's, he's just apologised for not saying bye, which, um, which, oh, I, which, better. which I don't forgive. I won't, I won't forget that. No. Oh, oh, look at that. Well, can I just say well done to Greg Batten. Enjoy your money and, 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 and spend it wisely. I would say well done, but he's not said bye to me tonight. So, um, so he's, sure. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, this is a problem. I don't think about it. Greg absolutely ruined Oscar earlier. Of course, he, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? There you go. I not did say something like that, but you said these well, boys can listen, take a knock. Hey, I, I totally agree with you. The problem is, Max is the best of a bad bunch in Spannies. Do you know, mm. but when you're going in Spannies, who have you got up there? You've got Shane Thompson, you've got Ollie Bale. You've got, you know, a few players, a few has a few never was -es. <laughs> But When you come in the devil, mate, you get hurt. Oh, no, so I can't comment on that. All I would say is Max is a lovely guy. He needs to, he needs to go away, recoup. Stick to playing your Spanish boys. Stick to playing your Bristol boys, and stay away from Devon, mate. Because when you come to Devon, you get hurt. It's a shame. Max is one of the greatest players. He'll be back. He'll be back stronger than ever. I've not commented anything on that. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, he, in fairness to him, he, he's played fantastic today. I mean, he took was that nine frames off Greg or eleven? I never expected that. I, th I thought Greg was going to steamroll him. Okay, let's get back to the game. Yeah. Well, this game, I mean, 
Enough. How has Nosko and Josh, how have they not had a start tonight? How has this game happened off scratch? Mike. So, Mike um, King's at the table, just tell him, Aiden, this is it. This no, is no, it. What, what he said to him was, I can't believe these two has played us off scratch. That's what he just said. Right, so he's, getting, he's trying to snooker. Yeah. Mike, relax. Hayden's just agreed. Hayden said, yeah, totally agree. They should have had a four star. Yeah. So here we go. Um, he's going in for a backdoor double. Great shot. No, he's, no, he's not. Oh, okay. He's, he's made him move the yellow. This is dangerous. No, oh, that's actually a great shot. Okay. They have to move the yellow, which makes all the reds go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very well shot there. Well, anyway, I'm going to say thank you, Greg, for, for, for your time today. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed not only commentating on your game and doing some commentary with you, and thank you very, very much for your time. And uh, uh, I will be back um, next year, and uh, I will come and say hello to you. I know he's playing um, He's playing another one from Spenny soon. Yeah, he's he's Shane Thompson, that'd be a good game. Yeah. Yeah, I can't I'll Craig's be honest, I, don't, I, want I want a full shame and get as many frames as Max did. I mean, that is the rabbit. Did you see the rabbit pop up and headbutt the ball out? No, no, I've seen the white at the cushion, mate, again. No. Oh. I mean, if Shane get, I think they're playing first at 21 or okay. 25. Shane's, oh, this guy's just shouting and screaming. I don't, I'm yeah. sorry for this. If Shane gets a double figures in the game against Greg, he, he, he'll probably be a happy man. Oh. Race at 25, so if Shane gets a 10, he should be good at achievement for him, really. Can't see it myself. I've only seen one winner. So here we go, it's it's crucial this shot. Yeah, you're right there, Peps, because it is a really tight game here, isn't it? It's, he, he doesn't want to open it up. Would you calm down, Mike? I'm all in now, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> calm down. There you go. He's covered up there. He's, yeah, it's a good shot. Ooh, wow! Did you, did you see the rabbit <laughs> pop out and just move the ball back? No, no, I've I'll, I'll seen a shit table. <laughs> the rabbit is invisible rabbit, which is moving the balls around the table. So here we go. So I think they might open up the black and go for it. Yeah, he's looking at a double cross. They're, they're, at, a, they're at a kind of a stage now that... 17-12. Um, yeah. Final frame, ladies and gentlemen. Lose. This will be the final frame for Aiden if they... They're on the black. Look at this. This is massive. The pressure is on. The heat is on. It is on. Wow. He's going to get this connection right. Yeah. Oh, can't believe it. I mean, he's got on the train today. Come down to Exeter. He spent his gyro. He spent his pocket money thinking he's going to win. He's got ruined by Greg. Absolutely perturbed. He's here, isn't he? Greg ain't beat him, is he? he's absolutely ruined him. And there he's, then he's thought, I'll tell you what, I've got a doubles game, I've got a chance to get some back. Wow. You've got to learn, North School, keep the fuck away from Devon, buddy. This, don't, this is a family show, Mike. Oh, is it? do apologise, yeah. Sure, sure. Come keep, on. Keep away from Devon. No, he's a good boy. That's a clever shot. Now, Aiden is forced into taking the red on in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, clever or terrible? No, oh, it's a good shot. That's a disgraceful shot. Well, he's put the pressure on. That's that's made it an eighteen twelve win to Devon. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hayden will roll this red in. Absolute dolly like you expect. And here we go, game over. Sorry for Pepsi's commentating, he ain't really ain't got a clue. The rabbit's there. It's took the ball in. That's the one. Yeah, you mean that really tough dolly in the middle, you mean? <laughs> oh behave. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get ready to go out now. And uh, congratulate the winners. And uh, from myself, um, thank you very much to all the fans worldwide. And it was a great honour to be with Greg Batten in the commentary, as well as Michael Bryan. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the closing stages of the final frame. So here we go. Well, so. do you know, didn't even touch the sides, did it? Oh, Mike's taking the mic now, and he's telling him where to leave it and everything. Wow, he's underplayed it. Well, that's that's an absolute disgrace. Who, who played it. that? Um, I don't know. It's just looking. Well, it wasn't fucking Mike, was it? <laughs> Watch your language. <laughs> it's a family show. Mike, you put this. 
I I've got no so. problem with that. Yeah, there we go. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And that's goodbye from Pepsi. And I'll just go out and, and, and say thank not you yet. to the players. Not yet. So I have to take my jumper off. It's freezing. Just out. leave him the black at the top, back his arms. Miss. Oh. I'm going to leave my jumper on. I'm, bloody, I'm frozen. Well, what on earth was that? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> He's saying, Pepsi, you've got to stay for the commentary for the next game. So here we go. Could be one more frame if no, you he will pop this. Oh, That's look. goodbye from me, ladies look and gentlemen. Me. See you in a minute. And goodbye from me. Thank you. 